get information, baby. Y'all been calling. We gonna dedicate this motherfucking gag on the line. A motherfucking R. Kelly, cause he told you he was by himself, baby. Gag Nation, get information. Go get your petty too. We live, y'all. I hear you calling. Here I come, baby, to say Y'all been calling the queen all week, telling the queen that she need to go live. We the people trying to figure out what is going on. Y'all going to learn to listen to the queen. I done told y'all absolutely no diddy. You know, y'all going to learn. 
<laughs> y'all go learn to listen to the goddamn queen. Y'all been sending gas in all day, all week. The queen been under the bed. I told y'all to get under the bed and stay under the bed, and there was a whole that. lot going on. <laughs> and now y'all see why I told y'all motherfucking ass to stay under the bed. Gat Nation is you live. Hi, Queen Gaia. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing amazing, Queen. I just came on here to really give you your flowers. Um, I really just started in the music business and I actually just did a song called I Don't Fuck With You to Your Beat. Um, don't trust no nigga. I know that's right. I I just want you to know you that bitch. You feel Thank me? You. Like it's either you gonna be the host versus you, the Trina, huh? No, I'm listening, baby. I'm listening. Trainers on the, you know, the wild old side, and you are just like that gangster bitch that pop your shit and unapologi unapologi you know, you know, so unapologetically about it, you know, and I respect that and I love that shit, you oh. feel me? And I really feel like you should damn sure be higher than where you at right now. Oh, I'm high. You see everybody down low. So don't let the so don't let the that's sitting up high fool you, cause the feds in the motherfucking uh, homeland security act they don't. And the queen over here looking good and ain't got the word drinking my petty juice. So watch you sit up high. Make sure make sure y'all pay attention on what high is. Oh, don't let the internet and Instagram and four horsha and Simon says fool you, cause everything these people put online ain't what it is. Gag order in that order. That's true. That's yeah. true. Thank That's you, true. Baby. You know what? They don't like people that pop they shit like you do. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like people that that keep it trilling blunt, they don't respect that. Mm. You feel me? I so I, I appreciate I you. Pussy. I love you. You are that woman. You feel me? You inspired me to do this music shit. You know what I'm saying? And I just, I just want nothing but the best for you, Kaya. Like truly, truly. I was just talking to somebody about you earlier. You are that bitch, and you have, this, you are that queen. I'm sorry, oh. and you have inspired so many women out here. And I just, I thank you, thank, thank you for you. not leaving me to be a hoe. I know, I know that's right, baby. Thank you for the love. I appreciate it. <laughs> have a thank great you. one, queen. You too, baby. Bye bye. Oh, love y'all. Love y'all. Love you. Love you, baby. Is you live? The queen is live, baby, and we love to see it. Okay. Hey, y'all. Hey, queen. Yes, and this yeah. Diddy, and what he got going on, baby. I said, I need to get the queen on the line. We need to hear from her, see what she talking about. I, we need the queen. Absolutely no Diddy. You, you look so beautiful. Oh, thank you, thank you. See, well rested and ain't got nobody jumping on my back. I ain't selling no pussy in pink cocaine uh, 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 Hello? You know, okay. okay. You look when you ain't selling okay. no pussy in pink cocaine on Apple. I ain't <laughs> no one person that ain't gonna be in the motherfucking indictment and that's the queen. And in that order. In that order. Queen, did you, did you see this coming? Y'all know I seen this coming. You heard me say absolutely no did about six years ago. Okay. I don't know y'all about these motherfuckers out here in these streets. Mm -hmm. Out here on fucker pay, sex to pay, on drugs, fucking, mm -hmm. the same mm -hmm. fucking the same mm -hmm. niggas at home. And why I didn't fuck with them? And I was riding in my van because I took a peek and I said, Oh. Okay. Yeah. Let me get in my mm -hmm. and, and you know what's funny? Everyone associated with him one by one coming down like, how I getting this? Wait a minute, now. Kimba? You know what? One thing about it, Mary J. Blige say I'm not gonna stand beside you. I'm a fair weather friend. Mary said, I'm not going to stand beside you. She picked the side and it wasn't mm -hmm. this side. And Faith Evans said, you took all three of my men, uh, 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 Tupac, Biggie, Ooh, and Stevie J. Yes. Faith said, I'm happy because yes. he been fucking my men and stealing all my men's money. That's oh, I ain't got. And Mace. Ooh. Mace, yeah. Mace said that reparations is on the way. He fucked him so hard, he had to turn into a pastor. Okay. And he's here. Okay. I love it. Well, Queen, it's nice. That I'm just listen. I'm at work, but I said I had to get on the line. It's nice to speak with you, and I'm gonna be tuning in here. What you gotta say? Love you, and I, I love support you. you. Thank you, baby. Love you. Bye. 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 Ooh, child, y'all know they Maryland, Baltimore, Baltimore, Maryland. Y'all calling tonight? Hey, babe. Queen, gag me, gag me, gag me. Oh, Queen, I can't see you. Can you see me, Queen? No, I can't see you because you know everybody calling, so it's gonna cut it out. You gotta get up oh, on the screen. You could have got on the call. This, Go ahead, baby. This what I, this what I wanted to gag you about, Queen. I don't know if you heard about this. Uh, this uh, <laughs> one of the households of Atlanta. Which one? Is it all What's her name? Her name is Ashley. I think that's her. No, no, no. Candace. Candace. That's her name. Candace. Candace. Which one? Which household is she from? What state? 
She from what's she from the uh, Potomac? Yeah. So anyway, not the drunk one that crashed into the tree. Talking about she was thinking about her mother that's been dead because she about a hundred years old herself. Who? <laughs> No, not that one. Uh, you talking about you talking about Kern. Mm. I'm talking about the one she she was married to the white guy. And um he was only married to her for the money. I remember the little slim one that yeah, was. Yeah, he was he was some kind of uh he was some kind of uh 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 chef or something. Mm -hmm. Anyway, anyway, uh he closed the business down and anyway tried to claim it on COVID, which he is a white guy. Mm -hmm. But anyway. She said the stupidest shit on the interview. Mm. Somebody asked her something about some babies. Now, keep in mind, she married to a white guy. Mm, a white chef oh, cooking she, for a black woman. She oh, says man. on the interview, she's scared. She don't want to have light-skinned babies. Can uh -huh. you make that make sense? Uh, we already knew better when we knew she was married to that white man. <laughs> How you marry a white man and then say you scared to have light-skinned babies? Child. That ain't all you gonna have, darling. <laughs> what? So did they kill I love you, queen. I, I love, love you, too. Queen. All right, baby. I miss y'all too. Is she back? Is she coming back next season or they cut her? No, I think they asked her. They, they asked, asked her, her ass right That's on why. about it. That's but why. I think all, all of them should be gone. Like, what we got, what we gonna see Cora should do? Run back and forth behind uh Simon locking doors and pulling out pistols and shit. Why is Portia acting like she didn't know that that man was a criminal before she married? Is that what we gonna do this season? I guess Simon said, no, you're not, because you will not be filming here. Simon said, bitch, <laughs> cease and desist on all cameras, and bitch, you lock out the garage, and, uh, 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 security code has been changed, get Pilar and get the fuck out. I said, <laughs> Dennis, go and get Pilar. She is not safe. She should have never had Pilar around that nigga. No way. She ain't no that nigga but five men. You you're right, Queen, but I'm gonna say one thing. Uh Simon might be fucking with the wrong one when you messing with Porsche because you no, know Porsche he don't just mind, petty, right? he just as petty as Porsche. See, that was her twin. You mirror motherfuckers. See, that was her really? twin. He was in it for the fame and the money. Porsche was spending her fucking money. Don't and Porsche made him look good because he wasn't no looking at Porsche ain't and he really looking ain't Porsche ain't no looking now, but Porsche made that nigga look good. She did. And he she, sent them. You she can't had, clean up trash. Up and and I really, really, they really had me fooled. Nah, they had you fooled. Didn't I just say don't be fooled? They had me fooled, Queen. Uh, Portia eat plenty of pussy. She was just fucking bolo. You know good well Portia went <laughs> in love with that ugly ass African. <laughs> and she went in spotted on them wedding guys and had her hair wrapped up like mm -hmm. a bitch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And pretended like they were so in love, fake smiling on all them pictures, and that man done put her fucking ass out his house. It's out. Look, but they went over there. Portia went over there with a pistol, her and her mother and her brother. Child, you don't let a nigga put you out his house. See, y'all bitches gonna learn to stop moving in with these niggas and want to pretend like y'all living in, yeah. you know, luxury. And whenever them niggas get tired of that pussy that's well worn, they take they change uh, the locks uh, and the long coats. They take and all Christmas the pictures together in pajamas they with all his children. That's just February. Boy, in I tell you, I don't know what to say. Right. Uh, uh, I know what to say. Hated it, and we knew <laughs> it. We knew them bitches wasn't in love. And we it. don't care. And we don't care, bitch. And Simon don't either. And he said you would not use him for a storyline. And if you come back on his property, he will have you arrested. <laughs> Dennis, go get Pilar. Love you, Queen. Love you. Cut out. Love you, baby. <laughs> uh, bye bye. Oh, child. Let, let me let me play this right quick because y'all know y'all. <laughs>
Hey, baby. Can you hear me? Hey. Hey. Hiya. Child, what these hoes doing for money? How poor she ain't been married but a year and already going for divorce and they acting like they enemies at each other's throat. I want to know where your apology is at. Apology? What I want to know where your apology is at. For, no, not from you, girl. From everybody else. Because you been right. And everybody been like, oh, she been hating oh, all these years. Where's J.C. Young's apology to the queen? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Where the apology is at? Because you've been talking about him. And then he went and twirled his daughter out all these. Since, since the COVID, girl. Since since you've been on here and cutting up since even um right before it, you start blowing up with you know who shall remain nameless shall, shall remain nameless when you was doing live and out loud you was letting it be known they was what was jc Yon trying to come for the queen and say what all these niggas was trying to come and say i think everybody including he shall remain nameless and uh miss miss wine over there i think we, they owe you an apology where's it at Child. Those who was listening got the message. Everybody else, you know, they slow tied through and delay. It take them a little longer, you know, to get it and catch up and realize that you're going to jail. You you been letting me be known about Candy and the crew since you and Shell remain nameless man and Vince and Tamar. You see, you ain't been saying nothing, but Vince been a sweetheart, and we ain't heard nothing from you like a gentleman do do. But the other one been talking about one one bit of jersey. They been everybody been cutting up since uh you and Shell remain nameless basically broke broke up and uh you start going in your bed ever since then it's been like the reckoning has been coming for all of them because you know they call me and my crew they call us conspiracy theorists and hands and all that but you know i got my own story about jay-z how he tried to get at me yes yes indeed back in 97 when i was 15 years old and said showed him my id he said he didn't care and guess who said Dame Dash looked at her face and said, I don't give a damn how big the titties are. Let me that kid around. So, uh, okay. You think they coming for Jay-Z too? I think Jay-Z, if you know if they like children and prefer children, because he was trying to get me high and drink said he didn't smoke or drink. Okay, but was trying to pass me champagne and tell me to come back to his room and give me the limousine and all that. Uh, so uh, Jay Z gonna take the whole say down like uh, Puff Daddy. Absolutely no Diddy is taking Slow Miami, aka Carisha, please down because she will not recover from this. So if Jay Z get indicted as well, you think the Carters, you know, 
I think they're gonna be looking at them. They're gonna be looking at all their kids that they keep twirling out there with their little low cut stuff, just because the kid is tall or because they kind of thick. You putting it out there with a thighs all out, JC on. You putting it out there with a the little cleavage all out, low cut, like it's made for Grace Kelly or somebody, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Carter. You know, that's a beard. They let Jaguar out the hospital yet? Because Jaguar been trying to tell everybody what's been going on too, and they want to act like she was crazy. They want to act like everybody. Well, mm -mm. But I, I, I don't got nothing to say. But they want to act like everybody. <laughs> you can, it can be two things at the same time. You know, Ooh. it can be two things at the same time. But you've been telling it, and you've been insane as all get out. You've been wearing your hair wrap and been telling these bitches without a whole bunch of lace fronts, without a whole bunch of powder and all over your face. Look like you done went through fifty pounds of, of powder, cocaine, and a little bit of makeup. You've been telling it. Cause they all exposing themselves, and it's like the reckoning is making them do it, girl. Why are they trying to act like they ain't on this pink powder that young Miami been trafficking allegedly on airplanes and at airports for Pete Diddy? You could look at their face and tell that they are on something. Cause uh, uh Miss Carter looked blank. Jay Z looked like she done freaked his ass out. He looked kind of scared. Like she knows secrets or like she would have went into a possession and can't come out of it. Just lying. <laughs> I just saw a possession and can't come out of it. You know, she done got plenty phone calls and got that phone to Jay Z and everything. Like she done seen all the stuff he been texting and tweeting and everything that been going on. So she been knowing, you know. So mm -hmm. it ain't like it's I think they will share. I, I want to know what happened with Blue Can Trail. I think you don't name your daughter after your your husband's ex bitch that you try to take a look like. Oh, we ain't seen Blue Can Trail. She alive. She was last time they seen her. She was running up and down yeah. Santa Monica Boulevard. Talking about she yeah. <laughs> trying to poison me with gas and trying to get me. You know who I am. <laughs> oh, well, we ain't seen her. We ain't seen her. We ain't seen nothing. But why you gonna name your baby after your husband's ex? Ex. We ain't heard from Maya, really. Well, they say Maya about to go on tour. They say uh, Escape and Seven O Two and SWV. They so broke that they done finally, you know, decided to get along and everybody let's come together and make us some money. And they're gonna let Maya. Maya gonna be on the tour, so that's good. It's gonna be a good tour. They need to get along and just get the money and stop taking their hate to work because they know these hoes can't do it by themselves. As we see all the tours that's been going down, you know, the girls aren't able to do it on their own. They need a little backup. So I'm glad to see that, you know. Escape and 702 and SWV and, and, and Maya, they all go, going on tour together. So y'all make sure y'all check that out. I was happy because at first them girls weren't getting along. Well, you know, that industry do some crazy stuff. They probably had them all on drills so that they couldn't get along because they're paranoid. Oh, 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 and hiding the Cooter Brown trying to pretend like they ain't hiding the Cooter Brown. Like we can't see. Mm -hmm. Back in the 90s doing all them just say no campaigns and stuff. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So you always sure, kept it real, Queen. Abby Sherlin came out. You know, he said that his son can co can can come home. That he's safe there. So, do you think the, the you know Quincy gonna go home with his father? Biologically. I I think Quincy gonna go wherever it's safest for him to go and where the money reside. And it looked like they finna take all of Diddy's money, so he might need to go over there and, and kind of. We don't know. He might have activated him to be a, a little. Uh, he was been raising him for a minute. He might be just as corrupt. You see, the other sons has been arrested. They corrupt too. So uh -huh. he might be just as corrupt as brothers. You know, Misa says she's telling everything about her son. She says she's telling. She says she's not letting her son go down for Diddy's and his bullshit. She done been around since day one, and she know all the teas. And uh, she's not letting her son go down. So you know. You know, you know, she, you know, is she right to protect her son against all the bullshit so he won't go to prison with his daddy? I mean, I figured that's the least she could do because she could, well, maybe she just was trying to keep her life. But it's, I, I find it real ironic how all these hoes want to come out right now when they could have been done, clicked up and made their own video. Because I still want to know popping with Stokes because I see the nigga got pictures. He's still working on uh, shows on BET called, you know, those sisters with, with uh, Tammy and with uh, uh, Moon London with all them. And I'm tired of niggas out here in LA acting like they don't know the story, okay? 
okay, you kicking it with them I them Iokis and stuff, you know the story. So stop acting like you don't know what it is and it's all you no know, honey trap. All them people connect like West Side, West Side Connect, Gang Connected, so you know what it is. So stop trying to act like, oh no, oh no, be, be, be. just cause they they keep reinventing themselves. All these people still got a, a, the, the Chris Stokes still got a battery in their back. And he's still producing shows and making money. So when y'all finna take him down, because I'm tired of y'all using obvious scapegoats and giving us old news. It look like Lil Rod, the only one coming with some new news about Diddy. Because everybody already knew about him. We know we already knew about him. And then Chris Stokes' wife came forward after all these years after the coin was gone. She want to testify and saying that she bear witness to all of the molestation and the things that was going on while she was married to him. But she still stayed married and had multiple children. But now that they divorced and the money is gone, now she want to tell. I don't know if she want to, you know, cleanse her soul or get right with the Lord. But it's like, bitch, you was with him all them years while he was doing all this, bitch. You owe Raspy an apology. And you need to be charged as an accessory because a lot of the shit went down under your roof. Mm -hmm. so, I think know, that I think they might have a a, a, a little uh, weapon on them. I, that's what I really think. I think that right now that it looks like if you see them kids' Instagrams, it looks like he's just paying all his kids just to live and keep secrets. Mm. Got them on boats, and they don't talk to her. So I think one of them talks to her, and he's trying to stop that. So. It looked like she just, it looked like she might be a little pissed off and just ready to cleanse her soul. Maybe she's sick. Mm. So Diddy got knocked off before Chris Stokes, huh? Yeah, I'm just, Candace Owens, which I, I'm apt to listen to her, but I think that she might have been right because she was on some little trail of Diddy. She said, this is going back, going back to some ties, to some London ties. And she said, I'm scared. I don't want to touch it no more. But it's crazy how they up in his house and up in Epstein's house and they protecting the houses and stuff. She's like, I think they plant evidence there from other traffickers and other more famous people. And I think she might be right. Mm. So what you think on them tapes and videos and stuff that they got out of the house and the phones? What you think they're going to find? Since he's so damn high, I think they're gonna find a little bit of everything. In that uh, one movie, Get Him to the Greek, they show them high off some shit called Jeffrey, talking about this, what this is. I think that they were really trying to let us know something. So I think it's people that's just getting too high and they getting older and you can't keep their faculties all in check when they high. So it's just starting to come out. You get older, you don't give a damn, and it's just all hanging out. But they still. Oh, the queen and apology. Well, I'm waiting for my apology because one thing the queen ain't never been is a little sex worker, you. <laughs> Did y'all hear 50 Cent call his baby mama a little sex worker? I said, I was wondering why 50 was all in Diddy's ass. Come to find out, he, Diddy was pimping out his baby mama, his youngest son's mom. Uh huh, the one that you praise while you ignore the other one that looked just like you. Now, the other son's mama has been fucking Diddy, getting pimped out with Diddy. She all in the indictment, and this 50 Cent baby mama. I said, they all switching and swapping, come and spit. All y'all niggas got the same diseases, fuck the same niggas and holes in each other you know 50 been new but i guess since we now finding out he want to talk about it but nigga that's one of them high yellow ugly face bitches cat williams was talking about you wanted that high yellow bitch and that high yellow little son and now look what it got you kevin hart they all understanding that because they that black gene is stronger than that funny face did it been fucking did it been fucking 50 cent baby mama and they say his baby mama was fucking Tupac. All them niggas, baby, is, is fucking the same people. They all pimping them out. They already know. I could tell you some stories about a, a group from out here that was pimping some girls fresh off the goddamn bus. They sell them Hollywood and New York dreams. They get on the bus. They bring them. They've been going on since the 90s, since before social media. All they got to do is tour us a little whole damn town. Some girl be waiting for them. You should see after these uh, shows, the way like the chicks line up already for the basketball players. They line up already for you. Well, you've seen it, Kai. You already know how they already be up in line for them. And they all got the same disease. That's why they swap in the same group. They all got Oh, 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 oh. Where Floyd Money Mayweather and somewhere fighting oh, to keep his 
faith is what we the people say. Mm. <laughs> You've been at the hardest too. So what Floyd, what is Floyd, you know, is he gonna stand by his man? You know, him and 50 Cent used to swap chains and spit. Let's not forget. Mm -hmm. Him and 50 yeah, Cent. I think that I think that that's who's been there this whole time. It is speaking. Don't act like we remember when 50 Cent used to be rocking Floyd's chain in the boxing mm -hmm. ring now. You know the queen don't forget a case. Yes, because yeah, who they share him and Nelly been sharing to say, well, that was Shanti back. It's just bring around Rosie. Nelly too. You remember Nelly was sitting up. They gonna get Ti and Tiny motherfucking ass too. Why he trying to act like he a comedian and ain't? Y'all don't remember Nelly was all on the couch all beating his knee, honey. And Ashanti, if Ashanti pregnant, she better be. Because if I see her in one more oversized, is Ashanti pregnant or no? Because Nelly has not announced it yet, but she getting bigger. You you know, she. I seen a bump. I seen a little bump, but that might be a Beyonce bump, so we all know. That better not be no bump trying to make Miss Jackson jealous, bitch. You better spit a baby out. Now, nine months, it almost should be. Now, I've been going for five. Bitch, you better be pregnant, Ashanti, girl. Yes, but so Nelly ain't queen. nobody to be pregnant from because Nelly was right there with him too. You know, he got all kind of rape charges. We ain't forgot when he caught that dope charge in that bus down there in Texas and he ain't never go to jail. They all got some charges on them if you keep looking good. And it looked like, if, from what I be seeing, look like they all made it, just change the last name or letter or two, drop it from the last name. So they all connected, connect gang, connect gang. They all connected and they all got some charges and got some dirt on them. And that's how they keep staying connected and up in it. Because I just think that that's how them niggas just keep laundering their money and putting cases on them. Be like, oh, so and so's net worth is worth this much. Okay, now gank from that nigga, take it to the next nigga. Now we just put it. Round about, round about, keep these niggas in cases. Put the money right back in our coffins. So, child, well, thank you for calling, baby. I enjoyed. Thank it. you. You welcome, baby. I love you, Queen. Love you. My daughter's gonna tell you hi. Hey, baby. Oh, thank you, baby. Good evening. Thank you. Love you, Queen. Love bye. You. Bye, bye. Gag, make sure we got some hey, people. Queen. The panel wanna gag, gag us, gag us. Yeah, Queen. Queen, what do? Where's your opinion on the Nikki and Megan situation? I never got your opinion on that. Big foot. You know, you know, I'm just tired of that, all that carrying on. You know, I just feel like Megan and Cardi is not in Nikki's age group, so she need to leave them little girls alone. She's exactly old, old lady doing the one leg up, can barely get that one leg, leg rolling around the way up. It just go halfway. Of seeing them. She said now she's take, she said, you know, now, now she feel a little bit better, better about herself because she on that Olympic, she looking skinnier. Oh, not the Olympic, yeah, Olympic. She get a little, yeah, you know, she get a little skinny. You know, she get a little skinny. You know, um, but, it, 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 but she didn't know on that Olympic she couldn't get on that stage under them lights because she started having seizures and falling out, and she had to get up. And that one, you see that Olympic, she don't know that you know the side effects. Of that old zippy, so she better one put that down. Blue. Exactly. <laughs> Not the old you zippy. You know, I don't play by New Orleans, bitch. You better get down there and make up that show that you cancel acting like you had the flu, but you brought your ugly ass down to Atlanta. Not too many days. Like, hey, Virgo lady, you know you the reason why I'm live, Virgo, and all the gang nation. I've been getting y'all messages. I say, Lord, I got to get from mother to bed because they done show. I anybody seen Wendy Wendell? She is swollen. Her eyes bulge. <laughs> forget everybody's name. She forget where she at. No, she, she ain't forget that. Kid one getting her money though. She ain't forget that. So that what made me take me crazy because all I heard at the whole documentary uh, when her eyes was bulging her head like she was seeing dead people was right. Kevin doesn't have my money. Kevin when doesn't have. When they're playing, when they're playing, that clip. Wendy playing that I, good game. I think she might. I think Wendy might have went on the lawn playing crazy to get that money from Wendy Kevin. Wendy playing that good game because Kevin ain't getting nothing. Mm. They say Sharina then left him. Sharina done left him in that Kevin Powell in the field trying to get the money. Look, Sharina she gone. left him with all the credit card debt. You know, I think Wendy might not be so slow after all because every time Wendy her eyes balls open, she was on cue. But she was not. Yeah. She was on cue. Let us go. Stealing they my money. Know how to play a good game. Fuck you, I'm she with you. Take me. Short. So, get she my weight. <laughs> Look at <laughs> my back down. I say, oh, that bitch ain't lost her mind. Now on point. Nope. Nah, nah, they say. I need some Kevin doesn't have to come home. Not the eyes to cue. Kevin doesn't have money. Kevin doesn't have money. Kevin doesn't have 
that's it. Tell me the fuck out. Y'all, she gonna win the video. She gonna tell us now. She gonna tell us that it was all the dream. She used to read Road Up magazine. She just didn't want Kevin to get her money. And 2026. She needs to stop wearing them shorts. And it was getting on my nerves. It's some legs. It's some legs. Baby, them legs and them furry boots. And that thigh gap. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Some but wait, but wait, 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 Child, from the first party I went to, and I seen all them niggas in there sitting on each other's lap, and niggas walking around naked, and mm. bitches was fucking in the back room, niggas was fucking. I said, Oh, this one. Mm. But did y'all oh, see, oh, oh, see the video? She said, Let me go back to my bed and sell my DVDs. Cause they, and let me get my motherfucking t shirts and DVD. And they hated on me, but now, nah, bitch, I'm still no, here. I ain't Trina. No, no. They oh, it, uh, shit, not got serious, y'all. Has anybody seen she Carisha? Jackie, we ain't seen Carisha Jackie yet. Carisha was online what, two days ago. Carisha said, "I'm she she said, right to be a prank teacher." That's why she's selling them goddamn clothes from um from that she got from the Goodwill because she needs some money for her lawyer. That's all the money finna be on Kitty's account. All the money finna be gone. That you think she going to jail? Why she put her fat cousin on that nigga that didn't want to fuck? Oh my god! She needs to go to jail. Take saucy shit in with her too. I'm tired of seeing that mother ugly motherfucker. You know they really didn't have that to do because it's somebody out there that's anything you into. They have to be about saucy shit in fucking niggas that didn't take that ugly motherfucker with her to jail. I can't believe that if you wanted to fuck Carisha, all you had to do was pay Diddy. That is so crazy. Baby so she all online acting like she this you know type of woman slow. and she this and that. But so all like these niggas got to do is pay Diddy to fuck you. Oh my like gosh! Yeah, like I see why Jay Z don't like Diddy. Diddy ain't got nothing to do with that. 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 Diddy ain't got nothing to do with she said it was mucus. She said it was mucus that she was on no snoring mucus. out. There was the after effect. So we heard mucus. What, what we heard was a, a long snort. There was the after effect. And a, and, and, and a stumble back like it had hit her in the brain. And she said that she was pain. So what it was? I, I don't know. I'm going to say she said it was um booger. That was just a booger. So we going so we going to... Um, she said she was on probation at the time and she was getting drug tested and she already been to jail. Slow Miami, it's your turn to do your time and she'll make right. sure that she looks out for the children and send you some Roman noodles. But other than that, bitch, you're on, you're on. Get Jocelyn on the line. She'll tell us what it is. And Slow Miami, Bree, and Bree. She's going to you like you did, hun. you to jail. When you get out. Because she ain't going with you and she can't stand beside you. Why uh E.T. ain't put Slow Miami on the tour with her? We the people want to know. She needs to... Listen, she needs to bring sauces and to, to cool. jail with her. I'm tired of seeing that motherfucker. So now we know why <laughs> E.T. looking at her sideways. Can she even look at her sideways? Because we think Lil Uzi Squirt is another P. Diddy too, or she don't see that. What y'all think? Her man ain't no battle. All of them are. She probably mm -hmm. into that shit. But I ain't but even know that. Lil Uzi Squirt is cute. Lil Uzi yeah, like she got her a real nigga. Get Biggie Mama on the line. Can we get Biggie Mama on the line? Because I know she got something to say. Oh, and Jennifer Lopez. Miss Marley. Who knows that? Got the number. Let's no. Let's get Jello on the line. Leo ran for the hills and they never turned back. On the line. We the people want to know is you gonna wear that same green dress you wore, bitch, when you go to that courtroom and did it doing it. Not the VMA dress. When you show up to testify, you gonna have on that green Versace, bitch. We the people want to know, Jay Ho. Right. Get her in here, cause we want to know. Uh, yeah, in here. Will be on, be on stand, cause you know she was with Diddy and Biggie and all that on all them. Will Kim, will, will Kim Little be on stand? 
Look, Kim ain't said nothing. You, well, Mary J stood 10 toes down and said that um, Jay Bly said you know how to burn bridges. bridges. She's not going to stand beside him. So is Lil' Kim going to stand beside him? I don't know, because, you know, he always was dogging her out, throwing her underneath the bus, just like Biggie. Mm. Kim ain't got no choice. I don't so know. Diddy been having Mary around. Mary been doing shows for Diddy for a long time. Has he been paying her? Because from the other artists, they say they had not been getting paid, and all of them are coming forward saying that they did not get well, paid. Well, you know, he gonna he gonna pay Mary because Mary ain't gonna play. Mm -hmm. Mary ain't gonna play. Mary's the head bitch. Mary what, says she uh, from a bitch. She ain't fucking with you. Ooh. Mm -mm. Aubrey O'Day said that she been nude it. Nobody didn't listen to her. Uh, where's Fonsworth at with the umbrella? Who gonna carry the umbrella now? We the people. Somebody call Ooh. Andre. Oh, that's his name. We ain't seen Fonsworth. Fonsworth mm. ain't stepped forward and had nothing to say. Y'all in Atlanta somewhere. Stuff that like, hey, baby, is you live? We live. Yes, we the motherfucking people is calling Fonsworth to the stand, J O to the stand, Alicia to the stand, and the rest of them hoes to the stand. To the stand What's up, please. bitch? Gag us, gag us. What's tea? All the motherfucking all the hoes on the motherfucking docket, Queen. What's up, Queen? It's Bree Queen. Hi, Bree. <laughs> What's going on? How are you? I miss y'all. <laughs> it's your ass too, nothing. We're watching your ass sit here smoking this back wood, gagging. Oh my you goodness, know. you got to call me. I miss you. Yes, 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 miss you too. My number still the same. I know you're still the same. Yes, well, you know I've been under the bed because I already predicted all this shit was going to be going on. Yes, me too. Yes, me too. These motherfuckers done made Brie Asia run for the motherfucking heat. Oh, you better protect your feet, honey, because the demons are. It's King Brie now. It's King Brie now. Oh, King Brie, the demons are out. Well, baby, you know you did your truth. These other niggas don't. Right, 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 right. Yes, yes, yes. But what is up with all this shit? I know the people are dead because they thought you was lying and carrying you know, on, hating, hate and all this shit. Me? You know, I've never been a hater. I know. Who wants to be? No, then nobody want to be invited to none of them motherfucking parties. You was being invited. Yeah. You was motherfucking declining, girl. Hey, <laughs> I'm not invited, bitch. You think I, can, I can't show up to a party or an award show, bitch? I'm getting right. Bitch, I don't want to go. Because it's right. not my cup of tea. I don't even do strip clubs. Oh, damn. Uh, uh, get Perry Mason on the line. Mad line. Right. Get them all on the motherfucking line. We the people is bringing them every, every fucking body. Get them on the line. Diddy. <laughs> damn, I don't want my money to get cut off, though, baby. Damn, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Angela Bransberry, get him on the line. Hawaii Five Bowl, get him on the line. Yes, get motherfucking. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's the show on USA, bitch? 48 hours. Get 48 get hours. Get on the line. <laughs> Ships is on the way on their motorcycle. Get him on the line. Because this is the show out. Get the exorcist on the line also. On the line. Get Andy Griffin on the line. Child. Yes, 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 yes. I'm gonna let the people go ahead and gang. What's up, we the people? Okay. Damn, all this fuck shit in the okay. streets. Lord have mercy. I'm gonna call you when you get off. All right, baby. All right, baby. Bye bye. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh my God, we gonna talk about Ooh. unknown caller. Answer. We gonna Man, talk about. Get too loud. It's you might want to turn it. Yeah. We gonna we gonna talk about Fanny. What her name? Fanny. 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 That was fucking the nigga that didn't mean her no good. Cause, hello. Hey, baby. Hello. Hello. You crying? Yes. You crying? Yes. I can't hear you. Hey, baby. They want to talk. Hey, Miss Kaya. Hi. How can you hear me? I can. Hi. Do you know you have a lot of fans from Asia? Oh my goodness. Well, I. Uh, well. Well, I love you guys over there in Asia. I've done. I performed yeah. in Japan and South Korea. So yeah. Yeah. Um, we're, I'm calling here from Malaysia. We love you here from Malaysia. Oh, come through Malaysia. I gotta come yeah. to Malaysia. Well, thank you. <laughs> um, love your love your show. Love your program. Um, I have one thing to say about P Diddy. Mm -hmm. Um, 
can love a little dick every now and then. <laughs> yes, he do. <laughs> Thank you. Everything baby. in the dark will come to light. I yes. hope he gets his, you know, justice. Yeah. You think he's trafficking children or young girls? Are they going to I, I think so. Um, I mean, he has a lot of power in the industry. He can do anything he wants. Clive Davis ain't going to come to his rescue? Oh. <laughs> Y'all heard that. <laughs> Where you at, Clive? He going to need you, Clive? ain't going to come to his rescue? Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to say, um, we love you. Um, love keep you. releasing music. We love your song, um, oh. your dance music. You're amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye, baby. All right. Bye bye. Oh, much love. Shout out to Malaysia. What y'all think? Ain't nobody gonna show up to to defend Diddy when they know they've been over there fucking. Mm. Mm. Is you lying? Yes, yes. Trying to be on from Texas. Come through Texas. What part? Dallas. Come through Dallas. Are they feeling Beyonce's new country album down in Dallas? Oh uh, yes, 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 yes. The, well, the one that she put out, the Texas Hold'em, it was all at the Houston Rodeo with Bondi and all that. It was really, really good. Oh. That second one, the, the Candles one, I don't know if people like that too much. Oh, they don't like that. Uh -huh. Yeah, they, they really like that Texas Hold'em because you know you can do dances and all that. And it's not just us. The white people are loving it too. Yes, yes. Well, that's what's up. Come through. Shout out to Dallas. You well, I am so happy to be on here. I love you. I have loved you for a long, long time. Totally excited to be on. Well, my question is, why isn't Diddy people, his friends, his confidants, his everybody coming out in his defense? Nobody saying anything other than something negative. Right, right. That's why I was asking, who's going to who's gonna stand beside me? Kanye said he wants no parts. <laughs> And that's a shame if Kanye don't want any parts because, you know, he's been drugged down and through the mud. But that's just crazy. Um, I don't know what to think. I know a lot of rumors have been out. But Cassie did it. I mean, she did it. That civil suit made it where you could get the details. Had it been criminal, we wouldn't have known anything. But the civil laid it out for us. Now, everything is coming. All the tickets are coming home to you. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm going to get off. I love you. I'm going to listen and keep, I mean, just because it's going to get more juicy. So you got to keep coming back on. <laughs> okay, baby. Thank you. All right. All right. Bye, bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, my goodness. Ain't nobody going to stand beside Diddy. You know, burn that many bridges, y'all. Gag, gag us. Gag us. We lie. Gag water, gag water, gag water. Hey. Hey, queen. Gag us. Queen, I wanted to talk about uh, this P. Diddy and 50 Cent, though, right? Oh. Lord Jesus. Why, you know, I think I think 50 Cent pride is hurt, Queen, mm -hmm. because his baby mama done left him for a closeted bisexual man. Ooh. And it's, and, and and I don't know why people, like, here. here's the thing. It ain't nothing wrong with being bisexual, right. but it's living your truth. I ain't, you know, Diddy, Diddy been playing games for a long time, and, and I just ain't here for it. No, he been twirling too long, and they about to get him together. But it's crazy because Queen Wendy Williams been talking about this shit since the nineties. Yeah, Wendy Williams done put it out. Um, what else? Oh yes, you know they say one of the accusers from P Diddy, the young girl. They say that that girl was Tierra Marie. No. Yep, they say that the girl, the one who didn't want the public to know who she was, and I believe it. Well, she was Okay, so yep, they say she was the Jane Doe. Oh, so that's what Swans are about. That's why. That's why Diddy wanted her 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 identity to be revealed because you know she done been in the media fucking and sucking on camera, getting drunk. You know she a mess. But her and, and her I guess yeah, that was, been going through it too. You, so there go there they go. Mm -hmm. Her fifty cents. He was trying to sue her. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. A, a hot ass mess, Queen. Oh, oh, and I wanted to talk about that escape. And SWV and 702 tour, just okay. real quick before I leave. Okay. Why is SWV letting Candy, uh, Candy Girl and Tiny Tim play games with them? Them hoes do everything for TV. Everything uh -huh. they do is fake. They started some bullshit with their own group the last season of the show. And now they're going to start some bullshit with SWV this season of the show. Mm, that's the storyline? You say what, Queen? I said that's the new storyline. Mm. Well, you know, the, the old storyline was that they wanted to close the, the concert out with Understanding, but bitch, Week is a way more popular song than Understanding. Right. Uh, and like why Coco was saying all them hoes into a box. In that order. Ooh. In that order. In that but order. yes, I think uh, 
FWV, they need to go ahead and get off of reality TV and stop falling for them tricks because Candy and Tiny, they fake. Well, you know they need some money. For all them hoes. Yeah, man. unfortunately. They need some money because one of them was still in front of the other sister. Is they going to be on there together? Or did no. They no, I don't think, I don't think uh, Chubby, Latasha. Oh, shit, I shouldn't so have Latasha called her Chubby. with that no good man. Yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, she was digmatized, Queen. You know when some fat bitches get with a get with a man, you know they get digmatized. It's, and it's, it's not just a fat bitch thing, but you, you know. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I know you deal with that no good and motherfucking man. Why these bitches can't love themselves and leave these no good niggas alone? Queen, doing the same thing. Queen. She let that nigga, she let that nigga fuck up her career. These no good niggas killing y'all. She's so big. Nobody wants to All right, baby. Thank you. Love you. Okay. All right. Bye, Queen. Bye. Love you. I love you too. Oh, my goodness. Queen. Yeah, I really think SWV need to get off that show too because they too classy for that. You know, escape. They ratchet and ghetto. They just, you know, they, you know, yeah, they just. Yeah. So who's going to open up and who's going to close? Because I think, I think SWV should open up. Oh, you think and SWV? they should close. I only know two songs. I like SWV. I like them, but they boring. Oh, oh. Uh, oh, oh. oh they should have been named Coco and the two girls because the oh. only one that sing is Coco. Coco Medley. <laughs> <laughs> I am not. Well, you know, I'm just glad that they get to get, you know, that they've got together. And well, Latasha, you know, she wasn't gonna come come on the scene. She stole more money after that one. Oh, so the, the sister with the no good husband ain't gonna be on the show? No. They stole no, Latasha, no, she ain't gonna be on the show. So let's, how, how, how Christian mingle album uh, flop? Yeah. She ain't going on there. <laughs> Uh, you know, ain't nobody gonna let her in their pulpit, but uh, Bishop Swallowed. That's the only uh, one that's gonna. Uh, T.D. Jakes, you better go pray for it and save P. Diddy. Them go over there and save them, T.D. T.D. ain't over there trying to save P. Diddy. They finna be coming by air, land, and water on Jakes, too. Kai, it's coming. He's somewhere praying. He he ain't praying life? for Diddy. I'm like, well, why he ain't over there praying and laying hands? That's what he said. He went over to Diddy house to save the people. Why he ain't over there saving Diddy now? Well, you know Jake's prayers ain't getting past the light switch. Uh-uh. So the line be the Lord. I love you. He called on the Lord. P. Diddy, you are on the docket this week. We the people say it's over now. Child. Kai, mm-hmm. Kai, can you hear me? I can. Kaya, I love you, Kaya. Oh, love you too. Medical records, medical records. You threw again, child. That's old. You <laughs> going down. The only people medical oh, records that everybody is requesting is them niggas over there at Diddy House. God damn, Gary Carter. Did all that bullshit. But wait, sorry, did y'all see them tweets? You know he's part of the show. Queen. <laughs> Did you see the tweets where they said Russell text Diddy and said, get home in my mama voice? <laughs> Wait a minute. They say a bitch subpoenaed Russell in Bali and said he better get over here to America because he needs, he's been summoned to go to court. They went yeah. all the way over there to his exercise yoga facility and told his motherfucking ass to get up off his knees and to get back down here to America because he got to show up for court. There's some bitches saying that. They, they, they alleging still that he molested them. So y'all think he gonna have to answer mm-hmm. to those charges? Hmm. Mm-hmm. See, well. over there in that Indian style with Russell when he left. See, Russell Ooh. knew to get the fuck on. Diddy, you should have carried your ass over there to Bali and said Indian style and prayed to Buddha at three, six, and nine o'clock because uh, Russell knew what time it was. I Russell don't think knew what time. Now, not mm-hmm. Diddy at the Ooh. airport pacing back. And Pace. Forth. He should have took his ass to Bali and play and, and prayed the Buddha. And did him Man. some yoga. They said that he was. He said that he was on his way to vacation in Antigua. But why was his kids left at the mansion then? If they was all getting ready to go to vacation, because see, well, they, they ain't do. They said they, they ain't do nothing, uh, so they can't arrest them. That's what I heard. Yeah. He claimed is what I heard that he wasn't aware of the charges. Uh, hey, he didn't know that they were coming. Right, <laughs> but I'm saying didn't they say that he was going to vacation? 
but the kids was left at the house. The two boys were left at the house. So if y'all going on a family vacation in two jets, why the boys at the house? Why they ain't at the airport with y'all getting ready to go? They have to stay back and run the hoes, bro. Mm. Where the twins mm. at? Let's stay back and run the hoes. The, the twins was um, already in Antigua. They was already in Antigua. Antigua. He already been trafficked in Antigua, allegedly. They, they say the mama was the madam, like Mama D's nut. They say the mama was the madam. She was pimping the girls, keeping the girls in line, sticking her high heels in their asshole. And, you know, backhand strong in them. Because her husband was a pimp and used to beat her motherfucking ass, and that's where Diddy got it from. That's where Diddy got so, it from. They say the mother, you know, she about 80 years old. She thinks she look him. They say she still, uh, you know, got a stable of holes like he have. And uh, do y'all, y'all, you that's know, the original Mama D. They but say wait. she's the original Mama D. They say P. Diddy's mom is the original Mama D. So is she going to be indicted as well? We the people want to know. <laughs> this is what they sent there into the dark. They say the mama, the, the husband just came to me. Do y'all remember a couple weeks ago on YouTube, Kelly Price was talking about the people on Sunday's best and how they be sleeping with the people and oh, so yeah. Kurt Franklin might be next. Mm. Oh, him and TDJ. You know what I It was tilted to the side. TD did a lot of stuff. And then they said they got a picture of him out there in a pink phone sitting on uh -huh. a motorcycle. <laughs> Beach cobbler. <laughs> TD with a pink thong. <laughs> they say he got a pink thong on. <laughs> sitting on the motorcycle queen holding a peach cobbler, a home baked peach cobbler that he cooked. Not with Serena cook. I don't Where know. That? There's a block. Uh, I know you lied. <laughs> that's what they, yeah, that's it in the court. <laughs> allegedly, that's what they said. <laughs> in, in the exhibit. What they oh, they, oh, how do we feel about Joe Nella and man Charles? Black man Uncle Charles, that's another thing they sent in. They said yeah, that um, she was airbrushed oh, real well yeah, for a pretend reception yeah. and wedding. Um, mm -hmm. people don't say it's real. They said they airbrushed all the bumps out of Charles' face, out of uh, uh, Joe, Joe's face, <laughs> Joe Nella. And um, right. that the detail didn't take. So I hadn't seen them. I don't really know a whole lot about them, but what I said, what you mean the BBL yeah. didn't take? <laughs> <laughs> so they went and got butchered and the BBL didn't take? We the people want to know. What's going on with uh, uh, yeah. Joe Nettle and Charles? Are they married? They, is this all for, uh, for internet? You know, entertainment? Is it real? Are they actors? You know, do Charles got a, a woman and a child and a family and he just go over there with Joe Nettle for clicks and views and the check? Uh, the people want to know, are they really married? What y'all think? Uh, they want us to believe they married. No, y'all don't just believe, can't believe that. Mm -hmm. No, nah, I just can't believe they went to go get surgery before he went to go get his face done and 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 cleaned up and peeled back and bumps pop. But I don't think you know, I guess the body was important. Well, but where the bumps come from? You know, I always say on the doctor <laughs> bumps. bumps. It's on his face. It's on his chest. It's on his back. It's on his arms. It's on his ass. Is it the horror? Right there. What, what is that? Do anybody know? <laughs> did, the, the, did the dermatologist say? We the people wanted to know because they said that they don't believe that they are married for real. Um, they say that they're icons. You know what? Everybody think they're icons because they're Bravo le YouTube celebrities like Lanithia Leakes said. Uh, do we, are we on team Lanithia Leakes or we on team uh, Poor Horsha too? Uh, since Lanithia want to hang around with Simon, do we think that Portia has a right to cut Nene uh, off? Or, you different. know, how we feel about Nene switching out on Portia for Simon? You know, Nene ain't never really been nobody's friend, so I don't know how we gonna judge that case. Again, next you get information. Is you lying? Trying to keep her chick. Well, Amy ain't <laughs> calling. Oh, oh shit! Hey, baby. Hey, baby. How are you? <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? You got a gag for us? No, uh, so I'm coming up here to gag with you, Queen. Okay. What's up? Shit, I'm trying to see what, what the fuck going on. Did it, everybody? You know what I'm saying? Child, did it going to jail? Diddy is, going, Diddy is going to jail. I think this case is going to be big. It's, 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 it's the OJ trial. Yeah, man. I, I, listen, I'm. you know what, though? I don't know, man. I think it's something against the body. They're trying to take down the old black man, though. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Okay. 
Because we know the white folks been doing this shit. Mm, so where they going from Diddy? Who he done pissed off? Put it in my closet. Okay, yo, your phone breaking. I can't even hear what you're saying. Hold on. You think they trying to set Diddy up? I said, who did he piss off? Oh shit! You know, you know who he pissed off. He pissed off them people. Mm. Pissed off them people. You know what I'm saying? They're coming to get his ass now. That nigga, I know, I know what that. That nigga hopped up on that damn plane so fast, man. They got up out of here so fast, dog. Oh. Hey, look. What, 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 uh, Antigua. He went to Antigua. They said that he was pacing around in Miami. That he didn't lead to Antigua, so they ain't letting him leave. But you think the white boy that they picked up? You know, I feel like he's 25, he had drugs, he had a gun. You know, they're going to put the pressure on him to tell, maybe, what he Yeah, told. oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, he going to tell. He yeah, going to tell. Right, boy, I don't think like I really said, man, it. Uh, it, it, too, much, too, 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 too many people in there to not know nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's been too much uh, motherfucking gossip around. Mm-hmm. Hey, somebody, somebody going to say something, bro. I think he did it now. He did it now. I think it done. Do we think the white boy gonna turn state on since they call him with that dope at the airport trying to fly drugs? Are they gonna tell him you either gonna let us know what you're doing or we gonna get your ass a hundred years? Hey, look, Miami, everybody, everybody gonna go, go fucking man. It's it, it just gonna be some crazy shit going on, man. It's a, it's a year exposure, baby. It's a year. Listen, I already told y'all niggas that that's what time it was and to get under the bed, but ain't nobody get up, get back under the bed, get queen. back under the bed, nigga. <laughs> What you think Miami gonna turn and stay on them too? I don't know, man. I don't know. I think Miami she might um uh, she might keep her mouth closed though, cause she got she still got a lot to lose. Like we she still what I feel that like bitch she still got a lot. What you say? What that bitch got to lose? That bitch like that bitch so <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? She still got a little career out here, you know what I'm saying? So I mean I guess For real? I mean I I figure I figured she knew she. I knew she was getting in in the game, but you know what I'm saying. When she when she first got involved with Diddy, so I mean, it, it's it's apparent she knew something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 Queen. Hey, look, I love you, Queen, man. I, I'm, I ain't hold up the line, though, man. I was calling up here to the real see you real quick, man. I love you, Queen. I love you too, baby. Thank you for calling. Oh, uh, really? Oh, okay. Love you. Love you. Bye bye. Oh, I love y'all, Gad Nation. Y'all been calling me. I said, Lord, they, I said, the queen ain't been live in five months. Child, the internet been off the chart. Hey, baby, gag us. Oh, Hello? I love y'all, Gad Nation. Y'all been calling me. I said, Hello? Lord, they, Hi. I said, hey. Hey, Hello? Hello? You got to cut your phone down. We can hear you. Hello? 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 Oh. Hey. Hey, Kyla. Hey. I just wanted to call in. Oh, it's a couple of us on the phone. Okay. Yes. It's a couple of us on the phone. No. So I'm hearing, I'm hearing like your phone is up loud. Uh-huh. Like you got to cut your phone down. Your uh, speaker down. Hey. She got to cut her speaker down. Hey, baby. Hey Queen. Hey. <laughs> I'm gonna gag you real quick. Gag me. A couple of years ago, right? I don't know if a couple yeah, it was a couple of years ago. Somebody did a skit and they was like, Would you like to do your video about somebody hugging all on your back and squeezing and kissing it all in your ear? They was talking about Diddy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> But it was a skit a couple of years ago, but that shit was funny. But I ain't never like no Diddy no damn way. Fuck so. no, we ain't never fuck with Diddy. Wait a minute, did you see the video where they said, "Do you like men or women?" And he said, "It's depending on the mood." Was that real? Uh, I didn't see that you didn't video. See it. We the people want to know was it real? Because they sent it into the doctor, and I was like, "Did he really say that?" And then like two days later, Homeland Security was at his motherfucking house. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they tight? Why are they tight? Why are they tight? Like, what the fuck was they looking for? Why they tore their house up like that? Oh, they tore their house down. Oh, he let them build that thing. They let them build that thing. What they was looking for? I don't know. And then all the neighbors were standing outside. All right, guys. Was in the car talking about, yeah. Uh, I'm scared to go over there. The party started 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh Uh-uh. They said yeah, that poor bus was going through the neighborhood, letting people see his fucking house. I said, you know, y'all. Like, 
<laughs> Get back under the bed. Yeah, they stay for that. I'm about to party start at three o'clock. He's scared. He don't want to know. I think he been over there. <laughs> yeah, he been over there. Wait a minute. They say Harry there. was over there. You know, I like Harry. They say Prince Harry was a regular over there. <laughs> oh, 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 but Daddy hit Prince Harry. Show up. Uh, he just like his uncle. Oh, not just like his uncle. Yeah, just like his fucking uncle. I said, Harry, what? getting that hairy black ass pussy them hoes was selling over there. I so, said, go ahead. Uh, Miss Miami, what know about Miss Miami? She talking. Somebody said, "Where, where is Young Miami?" You know, and then she tweeted back out, "I'm right here." Yeah. And you might be right there for a minute, but they gonna call your ass in for some questioning, ma'am. Yeah, don't she's think still trying to talk shit. You already had all your couple of shows talking about how you like for somebody to pee on you. They gonna ask you about that shit, girl. You know that they uh, gonna ask you they been smearing that. shit all in her fucking face. That's why I play what people do for money because ain't that much money in the world. None. And y'all know that bitch wasn't getting no motherfucking half a million dollars a month. Just a lie. Because where the motherfucking money at now? Huh, she she the money don't know. Where... <laughs> Shy, it ain't where the money resides. Taking <laughs> pictures on. Yeah, like that, that's what I was telling you before. I was like, they like on this Instagram, they would really have your ass full. These people Whoa. ain't shit. These people ain't shit. <laughs> but wait a minute, hey Queen, did you see Apollo slide in on um the reunion when he slid in there and he run from one ear to the other ear and he loved himself some damn Apollo? Yes, <laughs> nobody said Lord, look at here, and Apollo gonna play the role. Oh, yes, he did. He was looking good too, and played you pretty <laughs> and heavenly. She was sitting up there looking like somebody's grandma with that goddamn <laughs> wig. Who the hell told her wear that goddamn ugly ass wig? That's some non. That's a Thomas. That's some non dressing. I don't know. I, ooh, Not like somebody grandmother. What Phaedra got going on? Phaedra thinks she's twenty five. What happened to the Southern Bay? But uh, Phaedra may uh, heavily wear that ugly ass dress to uh, uh, Dr. Damon's. Uh, what was it? Dr. Damon had something going on. You know, he do the pain medicine over there, so he probably giving out all kinds of shit. Child, he probably giving out pink cocaine, green. <laughs> 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 Man, the medicine got to stop. They got to be stopped. No, look, no lie, no lie, Kai. I live in Baltimore, and a guy told me the other day. He said, he said I was with somebody. He said, and they pulled out some pink cocaine, and they were sniffing it. And so I'm looking at him like, what are you telling the truth? He said, I ain't lying, I ain't lying. He said, they were sniffing some pink cocaine, and you know, like birds of a feather flock together. Mm. I was like, my boy, you were snowing that pink cocaine too, <laughs> right? Well, what the hell is pink cocaine? I don't know. There's some fentanyl, some new shit that's gonna kill these babies. Oh, uh, <laughs> what we went down on down down there at the Baltimore Bridge that they done crashed, and they said the Simpsons had already predicted Diddy and the Baltimore Bridge. Did you see that? Hi. What happened? Can anybody tell me how come? How come? It just seems so convenient. Like my mind just goes other places. It just seems so convenient. How that? Whatever that thing was didn't see that big ass bridge. Like, how could you not see that? Like, I don't know. I don't know. People they be telling me, oh, because they can't stop it, couldn't stop in time and all that. No, I think they, I think they have other reasons for that bridge to be down. Had to be. And they, and they know, and they know what it is. Like, we may not know what it is, but right now, like, yeah, they had reasons for that bridge to be down like yes. that. Because. Mm. No, mm. that 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 was so sad. That was. And, and that, we'll see what Brandon Scott gonna do. They say Sheila Dixon gonna come in and she gonna clean everything up. I said, yeah, like she cleaned everything up when she had the war on drugs with Martin O'Malley. She ain't even write the damn books yet. I'm still waiting on the books. I thought, oh child, I thought Biden said that the federal government was gonna assist in getting the bill. Yeah, he did say that, and then they said something about they was gonna pay all the workers. They was gonna pay him up to three hundred and sixty-five days. I was like, damn, well, I wish I worked on the bridge. I could sit home and get paid for three hundred and sixty-five days. Okay. And they was gonna give him that same paycheck. So uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's what's yeah, up, baby. That bridge. And I never like riding no bridges, no way. So I, I ain't, I ain't mad at the bridge. Like I ain't mad at the bridge. I, I wasn't gonna ride the bridge, no way. I, oh, I know that's right. 
I don't know what happened, but they did say that they sent a May Day in and that it could have been more people on the bridge at the time. But, you know, it, it stopped. You know, they stopped it. So only six people was missing or died or was missing or something. Yeah, it was. Yeah. But the six people that was on the bridge was the workers. Right. What they was what they was working on some lights or something some like that. Some or something they said they was working on. But that water was cold. They weren't going to make it. Yeah, that water was cold. That water was 40 degrees. They said nobody could make it to that water no more than an hour. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was sad. You want to see a Brandy and Monica concert? And if so, who do you think needs to? Hell no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Brandy and Monica. You know y'all ain't no good. Monica. Monica already told Ray J shut the hell up, and I'm gonna tell him one more time again. Ray J, shut your goddamn mouth. Ray J, we the people say you need to open up. Ray J trying to come up with everything thing he could come up with. Sit your ass down there. Ooh, um, ooh, we the people say sit your ass down. Sit your ass down somewhere and take care of them kids that you got that you in and you, with your in and out of love with your wife. You don't want that bitch. The she the poker queen now, right? Yeah, they don't respect each other. Listen, break up. Because once you know that nigga cheated and you stay, you a fucking dummy, bitch. Yeah, and you know, he had, but he had her doing threesomes. She, she, and every, she was doing threesomes when she was with Floyd now. We ain't going to act like Ray J turned that whole out. She was already turned out. But she did it, and you think that nigga, gonna, your husband going to respect you, and you a freaky, that, that, that ain't how that works. I don't know. No, that ain't how that works. That ain't no, how that works. He ain't going to respect. No, he ain't going to respect. Okay, what do we feel about the, what the bitch name who pretended that the nigga kidnapped on the interstate and left a weed? They say she got probation. Yeah, I know. think she got a year probation. Um, Was that enough for probably need to go sit in an institution for maybe about a year and a half because, um, People have all that shit that was going on in Baltimore. We looking for her, and she's sitting at the hotel eating Burger King and McDonald's and shit, using her own credit card. And her mother and father knew this shit. Yeah, too, that but, mama knew. You know, Yo ass on the document. They was gonna stick beside her. Yeah. <laughs> they, <stuck> beside <laughs> they did stick beside her. Ain't nobody sticking beside Diddy, but they did stick beside her. They did. Yeah, they stuck beside her. <laughs> He didn't stick beside her because he was doing uh what he was going to shows and all kinds so they weren't in on it together. He he was he was in the clear, he didn't have nothing to do with it. No, he no, he had nothing to mm. do with it. Mm. No, he had nothing to do with it. But I bet she learned her lesson now. So what you think it was the dick that made her handle like that? Yeah, it ain't that much dick in the world. I ain't had no dick that good. No, I had no dick that good. <laughs> I'm <a, laughs> not that I had. No Act like somebody kidnapped me. I ain't had no dick that good. I ain't had no dick that good. Are you out your mind, girl? Yes, she did. You could have left the car with your girlfriend or something. I don't know uh, what to say. But to leave it on the side of the road, you know it ain't paid for. Girl, you know she was crazy. Mm. Yeah, Queen. All right, Queen. Queen, I'm going to Thank you for calling. took the other day. Oh, you okay. took some pictures and posted them the other day. I think he was laying in the grass. Yeah. Yeah. You oh, are Clover collector. Oh, thank they you. Are some, all of your pictures are beautiful, Queen. Thank all you. of your pictures are beautiful. You know what? Your it don't take are, that much to take no fucking your pictures. Your pictures are unique. Oh, not yes. like, not like you know how you scroll to Instagram and you just looking at you know they all look the same. But when I get to your picture, it's like it's it's magical. It's unique. Aww. It's something in your pictures. Yeah. So you Thank know, you, big baby. up to your photographer because he know how to do that damn thing. I thing. know that. And listen, I, I remember that time he was walking phone. on that water on them rocks. Yeah. Oh man, that was pretty. Thank yeah, you, Queen. baby. I love you, Queen. I've I love you too. Oh, I love you more. All right, cool. all right, baby. Thank y'all. Thank oh, you, baby. Oh, 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 zipping. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on with this old zipping? You know what? In about I know. Year two, she couldn't shit. <laughs> right. They gonna be fucked up in a year too. We gonna hear about the old zipping. Oprah gonna tell the truth in a minute. So how does it? She couldn't shit, but she putting on them skinny ass little dresses. Marlo, what is going on with you? Child. And you can stop. Stop mauling. You can stop posting them bad pictures because Andy said you ain't coming back. Ooh, so Andy said her uh, uh, ain't coming uh, uh, back. Keep your little money trying to wear Fendi and what's that? I don't know how to pronounce the names. Billy Argo. Chabu. And, and Louis Vuitton and all that shit. You better put that money in the bank. Show better. And you better act like you know, girl. You better tell them again. Yeah. 
I was the it girl. You was the it girl. You not the it girl no more. Child, we don't remember you ever being the it thing. girl. That's bitch. another thing I was thinking about. Oh, I be thinking about so much shit. I was thinking about that damn candy, and you know, candy is. I don't care if nobody said candy is arrogant and she's self centered. And she want to be the center of the show. Mm -hmm. Candy know damn well she did not walk away from that show. They didn't call her ass back. Oh, so Candy ain't gonna be on there this season? What'd you say, Queen? I said she's not gonna be on there this season. Oh no, 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 no. Candy coated nights and all of them, they they will not be there. Oh, that's why she agreed to that season. tour because she. But I money. think it's because this is what I think. I think it's because this investigation is going on, and you know she got the the, the dungeon, and maybe she supplied the, the you know the, the products for Diddy, or you know you know not they doing DNA on Diddy and Tiny and the shit that they do with dungeons and bolos. And yeah, shit. We don't know. yeah, I do know. That's why I told you don't trust them hoes. <laughs> y'all, but y'all to act yeah, like they y'all well, fake. Well, I, I'm gonna sit back and I'm gonna wait because I'm gonna see what uh what Kim, Miss Candy got because you know she swears she got so much going on. I ain't seen nothing going. On. I ain't really seen nothing going on. I did see Kayla at that birthday party though with the hot dog. So I did. Oh, they sent it in and say Kayla was having a hot dog party. I said I know, I know. Uh, Portia ain't pay for no African wedding and then had for law at the hot dog party. I said, Y'all lying. At the hot dog we the people. Party. I'm not gonna play with you. Dennis, go and get for law. <laughs> no, Dennis was there. Dennis was there. You know, he loved his baby. Yeah, he do love his baby. She should have just stayed too. with Dennis. But I think he a little hot with uh, uh, Simon, too. I think he he need to get some strength, because you know what? But no, because I fought Portia, because Portia should have never had Pilar sitting on that nigga lap. She ain't know that no, nigga long enough. No, no. And then one time they had a video, and I did it. I, the way she was looking at him, I didn't like it. Like, she was looking at him in such a way, like, is it okay for me to do this? Is it okay for me to say that? I'm talking about Pilar. Yeah. I, like, I, like I remember this. he posted like, a picture, and he said, I gotta use her to try to force her mama to get home, some kind of shit. And oh I yeah, like, I saw that. Bitch, I saw that. Pilar got a daddy. I saw that. I said, that oh, Guinness this is trouble with her, guys. Yeah, and I was like, I know Portia ain't leave her with this nigga. You know, she always been a dummy bitch. You use a that's a dinky. Use a dummy. <laughs> Monique was talking about her ass on precious. I say, girl. You know she a little dingy, but you ain't I, that dingy. Is Kenya coming back to the housewives? Can you coming back? Can you coming back? Oh, can you coming back? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, can you? What, what, what can you gonna do this season? What is she gonna do? I'm so sick of the fake weddings and the and the babies and the fake just it's just wedding divorce, wedding divorce. Cancel the whole show. Yeah, can't. Yeah, we, we <laughs> yeah. So the show on the beach. Are we shit. tired of. It. How, oh, so <laughs> how you liking Nene and in, in in the in with, with with her and the guy she break up with every other month because he married, and Portia was mad because Nene took a picture with him and this other lady. What do you feel so, Nene was wrong? So, so you think Nene? So okay, so you think Nene? Nene was there to get a bag. Yeah, she was. So, you think Nene was wrong for show for showing up? I don't think none of them are really friends to each other. I wouldn't but be surprised. Tired. I'm saying you ain't really got to be no friends. We talking about you going on the job. I'm going on the job. Portia and her feelings. Nene got paid, but Portia didn't. So, oh, 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 you talking about the um the uh the they went to go the film for the upshot uh -huh, and she said. She well, said she didn't, she didn't even know Portia was, was even mad at her until Portia didn't show up. Right. Well, I so wouldn't have missed my Nini bag. was not supposed to show up? Yeah, no. Well, Nene was going to go get that bag because you know she needs Yeah, you know Nene need that money because you know they said that boy out there, he on that pink stuff. Ah, and the all son. Kind of yeah, anyway. the oldest one, he just got locked up for fentanyl. Oh, okay. yeah. that's daddy. Uh, we got uh, last week sometime. Nene, you need to leave that African Jesus Sanders wearing ass nigga alone and see about your churn. Because I seen that they sent the picture of her grandchildren in uh, to the docket and none of them was smiling. They act like they didn't want to be in Nene's face. They would you? Oh, child. <laughs> I said, bitch, why would you post that picture, bitch? Bitch. 
Them children look like they was in hell. I said, child, they go. And probably is listen, cause that because you know you know her money low now. Oh. You know she was nasty. She ain't had so no money since grade like nasty times twenty five and price. Bryce, you better get your fitting all looking ass up out my eyes. Oh, you know what What's the other one name? Um, the one she loved, Brett. The, uh, Brett, uh, Brett. What's his name? Brett, yeah. Oh, she loved Brett. The she Brett did. can't do no wrong. No. He can't do no wrong. He a little sickly, so he been doing something he had no business to. Because he too young. Oh, yeah, when he had that seizure. Yeah, I don't know if he was popping like pills that. or purple. Yeah, he probably, somebody could probably gave him the wrong thing. Something. But these kids got to leave that dope alone because it ain't no good. No, it ain't no good. It it's no leading good. them down the wrong road. And that's death. Yes, it, it is. It ain't no good. Mm -mm. No, it ain't no good. It's up in here, Bob. More deep, bad. Yeah, they got everything in here. They got fentanyl, some mm. new shit called myelosine or myelosine or something. Like that. I don't know what it is. And that's all I know is when I see them, I just keep on walking. They don't bother me. I ain't bothering them. Yeah, I know that's right. Jay Mitch <laughs> said, Did we see the picture of French Montana and did it laid up on the yacht? So is he gonna no. be, is he gonna be subpoenaed? No, I didn't see that picture. Mm. He gonna be subpoenaed too. You know, French Montana look like he take a little dick every night. Anybody seen Meek Mills? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Anybody seen? He went uh, he went Nikki on a tour. He know he helping Nikki out. Mm -hmm. He had to bring her uh, medicine. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Now we ain't seen Meek Mills. They said they ain't seen Saucy Santana, and they want to know where Meek Mills what? at. It's gonna be a lot of people coming in that courtroom. Woo! Oh. Woo! Woo! This gonna be I a might stay off that day. This gonna be a big case. <laughs> they said he hired uh Epstein's lawyer, and I was like, Well, that's like hiring Fade Jamal. Hell, he I mean, I mean, Epstein's lawyer lost the case and the nigga committed suicide. So why would you hire his attorney? Because like Epstein he... lawyer never got all the secrets. But so he didn't like they gotta go over it again. This is like okay, this we gonna do the first time. So you know maybe it'll work out for you this time. So you know FC lawyer got all the secrets. Who else got all the secrets but him? Well, that what they say. They say he got a should sure, night say did he better watch his back because when he come to jail prison, they gonna have no love for him. Mm, mm, you know they say she got a podcast in say, prison. She don't mind burning no bridges. She sure said that bitch, that bridge went down like the key bridge. Sure. Damn, did he? <laughs> <laughs> Show <laughs> did should say don't bring your ass down there because you is not wanted and they're gonna dig off in your ass. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to say. What we got I to say. To you say. think he going to jail or no? Or this just gonna be yeah. uh mm, I don't know. It's kind of iffy, like if they found something that you know they really can oh, I don't know. If somebody get on that witness stand and make uh yeah, he going to jail. He going to jail. <laughs> yeah, he going to jail. That nigga going to jail. Yeah, we he going to jail. Yeah, because there's, there's, there's too many witnesses, and and, and witnesses coming Thank up. Thank you, too, honey. Going. Yeah, he going to jail. He going to do some time. He, he better time. walk back and forth now because he ain't gonna be able to walk back and forth in that cell. But one, two, turn around, three, four. I don't <laughs> think the children are gonna recover either. Good night, Queen. Good night, baby. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Yeah, Bye -bye. they should get information, honey. You know what? I don't know. It ain't looking too good for Diddy Child. I, I, I don't know. Y'all been wanting to get on the call now. Hey, baby. Hey, Queen. How are you? You got a gag for us? Queen, now listen. I want to get what you, I want. I want. I want you to tell me what you think about Carisha bringing the cocaine and ecstasy for Diddy. <laughs> Shout. She the drug runner, Queen. But this is the question I have. She the drug runner, but bitch, you supposed to be, you know, you young Miami, but you still running drugs for Diddy. City girls is down. They ain't recovered from this. They down bad, Queen. Like, is, is that bad? Like, is that part of the contract that you gotta go? You gotta go bring the drugs. And you, he, you're supposed he to be the main bitch. And he want to watch other niggas fuck you. He don't even want to fuck you. Girl, yeah, well, you know she ain't. Good. She not there to get fucked. Your pussy ain't no good. <laughs> that nigga wanna let other niggas fuck you and you act like that you were so in love with that nigga. And, and, and Queen, where's Quincy? Where's the little light skinned son? We ain't seen him. Wait a minute, let's go back to Justin when he was motherfucking getting goddamn what that bitch name? What Steve Harvey's stepdaughter name is? Lori. Y'all think look, they got the Lori in there getting fucked from the bike? Oh, you know it. Ooh. You know she was in there. You know, did it take everything that was going on? Then he was blackmailing bitches in the house. So he got all them bitches getting fucked from the bike and getting oh, yeah. smeared all in their motherfucking face. 
You pissy <laughs> bitch. Take it off. I told y'all about before. Lori Harvey was getting fucked with. You know, they were saying that she was fucking Justin and Diddy. She was over there and did it <laughs> Queen, did you see? Did you see Albie short time I come home? Come home now. You ain't been there for your, your child all his life. Albie wanted to did be there. Diddy had him scared. Oh, you know, Albie said Diddy had Kim killed because she was finna tell everything that allegedly. But you know, Albie been scared. You remember he went in the hospital one time and said Diddy was threatening him. Oh yeah, that's so right. So I guess now that the feds on Diddy asshole how he, you know, he he done got bold. Talking about biological. Oh, yeah. Nigga, yeah, you should have been when you got your motherfucking son. You ain't dead, motherfucker. How you let another nigga adopt your motherfucking son? You know? <laughs> that's a weak nigga. That's, that's a, a weak, weak nigga. I mean, I, I just don't understand that. that. What? All these years. All these years. And we ain't seen McMill. Where he at? Where that nigga at? We ain't seen him. So how we feel about him and Meek Mill's heads tilted with them matching black and gold satin shirts with the stripe on the side of the arm? We ain't forgot. <laughs> what was they doing <laughs> dressed up like? We the people want to know. Why well, you know, they Queen, like you know they say Meek Mill is the bottom. Huh? They say Meek is the bottom. Yeah. Why he the bottom? Did he hips too wide? He at the bottom too. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know. Ooh, you know y'all ain't. Meek Mill is the bottom, and you know who else that we? I want to hear from, but you know we probably will never hear from. Fonsworth Bentley. You I know, want to hear what he got to say. You know, I've been waiting for him because I want to know if he's going to hold that umbrella on Diddy when he be walking his ass uh, two seconds in that jailhouse. <laughs> but, you, wait a minute. <laughs> well, you know he lived here. Now, Queen, you know he lived here in Atlanta. He married. He to married to the girl that was on. Oh, he Lord. married to the girl that was on. Um, She was on some show and he got kids. I seen him in Lennox. They Mall. bull that. Like, they he lived right that. here in Atlanta. They bumping foot. <laughs> You know, oh, you're bumping pussies and carrying each other pocket bark. You know, Fonsworth don't want no motherfucking pussy. No, and she a pretty girl, but I'm like, damn girl, you gotta know you a beard. You know, pretty no, girls like, they like cause they like all that feminine, feminine, nice men so they carry. Yes, them. yes, yes, yes. I seen him in Lennox Mall. He was just walking and looking real dainty, and I was like, oh, that's Fonsworth family. In Lennox Mall here in Atlanta. Wait a minute, they say Nikki broke up with me because she caught him trying on her pink dress. Sure. <laughs> I just want to know what was the matching outfits about. Well, that's what that's what bitch niggas do. That's what whole ass niggas do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And did you see Meek Mill on the thing, ju um, jumping up and down like a bunny rabbit for the Jewish man on the thing? Right, like, I did. I you... did. I did. So everybody selling their soul for the money. <sighs> selling their souls and hairy assholes. Uh, Selling their souls to the Jews for money. Uh -uh. Queen, do you think? Do you really think that Diddy is actually gonna go to prison? Thank you, T, honey. I think so. They sent R. Kelly and Bill Cosby to prison. I think so. Yeah. You know, and they took everybody's phones. Do you think they was able to clear the clouds on time, or they gonna get all them text messages and messages? And I think they gonna get all that shit. No, they gonna get all that shit. Cause mm -hmm. you know, Queen, you know, even if you delete that shit, they still can find that shit. Whatever you delete and erase is never gone forever. They got all that shit. Mm -hmm. I think they got the goods. And they say Carisha is a a, a a fed witness. She stays witness. That's why she's talking. About she gonna have a good summer on Twitter. You know, never fuck with a woman scorn, honey. She was all online acting like she was so in love and she just didn't know how to say it. That nigga didn't never love you, girl. He was letting Yeah, yeah. Him. I think I think she turned on the queen. You know, I always say, I say, any niggas that like to watch other niggas dick, they suspect. They're like, nah, that's a boy thing. Group sex. No. I said, no. I said, ain't no real man gonna be in no room watching no other niggas smelling his ass and sex and fucking. No, we ain't doing that. Mm -mm. Like but you know what, Queen? I, th I think this is his payback for what he did, Kim Porter. I think he killed Kim Porter. Mm. You think he killed Kim Porter? I, I think he did. It just, it was so, it, it was just so mysterious. She just died, and it just, it, it was. I think he had something to do because you know he said she, she was right. But you know, I think all that stress she was holding in, it was killing her, and it got her sick in her body. See, that's why you got to let them niggas go, because baby, it'll make you sick, and, and and she got sick, all kind of cancer and all kind of shit. Your immune system just go to shutting down. But I thought they said she had a heart attack. They said it was pneumonia, and then the pneumonia caused her to have either a heart attack or was it like I thought it was something quick. I she, didn't know she was like sick. Sick. They say she was sick. That she was sick for a while, so she just caught pneumonia and died. Oh shit! Well, I ain't know that queen. I thought she caught pneumonia or something. They just—I thought it was sudden. I ain't know she was sick. You know, Diddy got a whole lot going on with him. He's—he—he he got that nasty man's disease. 
he do and you can look at his eyes i always looked at that nigga eyes queen and i always said someone he got them panda him. eyes yeah wait a minute y'all already know right about him look how justin bieber face looked like a cake that dropped in the office like he got bell's palsy <laughs> he was 26 years old his whole face was still on his pillow when he woke up because he don't want to just holler out what happened to him? You know they did something to Justin Bieber. He couldn't even perform yeah. at the Super Bowl. Justin Bieber yeah. been sick. He couldn't even perform. He's so stressed, and it's because he's holding that shit in, and it's making him sick in his body. You got to free yourself. You can't hold on to all that. <laughs> he would feel so much lighter if he just come on out and say what they did. You know they was mm -hmm. fucking the shit out of Justin Bieber and Usher. See, Usher, oh, yeah. Usher, Usher, and I was Usher saying, got Queen, nothing to Usher, say, Usher free. was 12 and 13 up in New York with Diddy. Fucking what the fuck man. he was doing up there with Diddy? Ooh, absolutely. 13 no years old. You know Justin Bieber been fucked up. Justin Bieber just turned 29 or 30 and he looked like he about 72. <laughs> well, you know, Queen, he, he, uh, he, he white, so you know, he ate, they aged two times faster that than That baby's do. stressing, though. They done fucked the shit out of Justin Bieber. Yeah, they stressing. When you stressing and you white, you gonna age like buttermilk. Child, that nigga they got his ass. They got that, they got that nigga ass. Child, he looked like that old man that was married to Anna Nicole Smith. <laughs> that Justin oh, yeah, face was hanging to the side. They say his mouth was twisted. I say, what the fuck going on? And then his wife having to put up with all that shit. She Justin need to go on and tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so he can heal. <laughs> yeah, he got a heal, Queen. He fucked up. He fucked up, Queen. I thank you so much for for talking to me, Queen. I've been trying to call you. I just wanted to know what you, the people wanted to know what you had to say on this shit. Child, oh, and Queen, one more thing: Did you see that interview with T. S. Madison and Funky Dineva <laughs> trying to trying to roast and gag you? They always trying to roast and gag me because ain't nobody gonna watch unless they say the Queen's name. Who is them whore? <laughs> I said, why the fuck they got the Queen in their mouth? I Funky love y'all. Funky Dineva talking about like you broke, you stole my neck, my back from some boy in Tampa. Uh -uh. And then, yeah, he they were just going in, and I'm like, is this supposed to be this supposed to be a a event for you, Funky Dandy? Why are you talking about Kyle? Because what else they gonna talk about? That's all I wanna know. But I'm talking about my line suspended, my 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 line. Suspended. Now you know what that gas me so hard because, bitch, why y'all acting like that phone went on in two minutes right there on the live? You know the gag or the live phone. I I be gone for five months. You think I care about paying no gag or the live phone? <laughs> My phone been the same number for 25 years. They want to act like a bitch can't pay no $30 motherfucking T-Mobile phone. Bitch. I know. They all and that's all y'all got. As long as y'all ain't got me selling no pussy and getting caught with no pink cocaine. If all y'all can say is I can't play pussy. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I am. I'm okay. That's all they got to talk about. They missed the queen. And fucking they I need to just mad because he snorted all that you cocaine. Can tell that. You can tell that T-Mobile <laughs> Because she always talking about that bitch can read, though. She's funny. She can read. You can tell she really missed. She missed being in your presence. He's a thief, and he'll never be in the queen's presence again. But they missed the queen. Fuck it, I need to sit right there like, the, like JT and snorted that cocaine off that counter. And I see that. Did, Wait queen. a minute now. I seen that pussy nigga, and I couldn't believe that he wasn't even ashamed to snort that cocaine in front of the queen. And I don't do drugs, and I ain't no motherfucking hoe, so I was in shock. <laughs> then the nigga came forward. Yes, I snort cocaine. Yes. I said, fuck it, I need now. Why are you trying to act like the queen was lying when I see you snort that cocaine? And then here it goes 20 years later, you want to tell the people that you've been snorting yeah, cocaine. He, said, he told thing. everybody it's that he had not But said, I was a lie. more than coke. That he was nigga. doing, he was doing Molly, he was doing Y'all can tell that purple feet demon is dead on the inside. <laughs> but it's just the point that he tried to make it seem like I was lying. And it's like, no, no, I know mm -hmm. what I see. Like I was invisible, like I wasn't there, and you snorted that cocaine off that goddamn motherfucking bar, bitch. So that's why he's sitting up there still talking about the queen. But guess what? You ain't never seen me snort no cocaine. Y'all ain't got no videos of my pussy. Ain't them niggas ain't fuck me. I'm still alive and well. My soul is still intact, and them bitches is falling apart. Yeah, Queen, he now you see he got fired from Fox Soul. They you say he got that, fired because he couldn't be on time. He was snorting that power. Snorting that, and you see his skin mm. look like yeah, yeah something wrong, and he be trying to put makeup on it. I'm like, nigga, you still ugly as hell. Oh, 
I said, I love you, Queen. I love, I love you, you too. Queen. We've been, Queen, we've been missing you. What the hell have you been doing? You know, I'm gonna be not like, minding my business, giving me some good old loving, and in here cooking and staying out the way, enjoying but my we fucking need life. You though. I we know. need you, Queen. I Queen. know. I miss this you. This is the time right now that we need you. It's too much shit going on. We need to hear what you got to say. I know. You know what? I'm gonna be live. I'm gonna probably go live in one. Look, I keep saying it, and then I click off, and y'all don't see me for another. You know what? And I just been doing me and just staying out the way because it's been so much shit going on. It has. Oh my God. I say, what the fuck? I get under the bed, y'all. It ain't time. It ain't safe to come out yet. <laughs> it ain't safe yet, y'all. Stay under the bed. Oh, Queen, me and my friends was just talking about it's two people we miss when shit go down like this. <laughs> it's you and it's Wendy Wendell Bartholomew. Or in thought. You know what? We got to rally behind Wendy because I love Wendy Wendell. Wendy ain't told not nan lie. Everything she said coming to the light, too. <laughs> Hell yeah, she been dropped the dime on Diddy. She was saying this shit back in the 90s when he had a fire I on the was, radio. Yes, I, when I seen Wendy on that show, I couldn't believe it. I just wanted to hug her and rub her down with coconut oil. <laughs> Queen, I felt so bad for her. And then why so we don't want to be down there the with her family? Was out. They was. She got to go down there with her family. No. Wait a minute, but look, look Kevin look good. He do. Ooh, he lost the weight. You know he used to be Kevin fat queen, so but that nigga done grown up. He's he about 24, 25 now. He, he look, look good. good. He's spending all that money though, queen. He's spending her. Now play. he went he, his mama gave him like <laughs> that. You know what G said the same thing. He I said, his mama for him. He's the only boy. Y'all leave him the fuck. I'd rather for little Kevin to see it than them crackers. <laughs> look, Kevin look good. Y'all got me fucked up. Look, Kevin look like family. I said, look at that kid. He grown into a man. Oh, yeah, he a man now spending all that money. He tricking all that money in them holes down there. Right? Look, Kevin better be lucky. I don't like no young boys, child. Because these hoes fucking the hell out of these young queen. ass boys. Child. Queen, I feel bad for Wendy because you had the, the husband was tricking up the money on the side, bitch. And the son tricking up all the money, too. They just taking all Wendy. Kevin ain't tricking up the money. I ain't gonna like let you do little Kevin like that. Kevin love his mom. Because when, when Wendy went to Hollywood, about, I'm about to be back on TV. Look, Kevin looks at her like, Mom. <laughs> let it go, Mama. But listen, listen, did you see how and I, I, I do think he loved his mom? He loved his did mom. you see how did you see how he was looking at her though? He kind of was looking at her like girl. Like he it didn't seem like he was empathetic enough. He was, was like, girl, empathetic. First of all, he shouldn't have been because Wendy bought him that tie that shirt and hold about here. <laughs> I said, Wendy, I know you ain't give Kevin his tie ass t-shirt. Money. I said, Wendy. Then Wendy how I'm about to be back on TV NBC. I said, baby, when NBC seen them foot. Baby, you know the feet weren't going on no TV. <laughs> Kevin looked at Wendy like, Mama, you is delusional. You is not going back on TV. Just come sit on the beach and just chill, Mama. You know, they was trying to say that she was faking this, all of this, so she wouldn't have to give her husband no money. But I, don't I think believe she's fake queen. I think it's real. You know what? I feel like Wendy can go live from her kitchen just like me. Go on, on get, in your, get in your kitchen, Wendy. And go live yeah. if you want to go live because your people going to support you whether your eyes bulge out your head or not. You want to she needs <laughs> that interaction. She needs her fans. Wendy needs that. I feel like they could nurse her back to home. She could just go live from her fucking phone. Fuck NBC. Fuck everybody. Wendy, when they can make her own money just on YouTube like everybody else. Hell yeah, everybody else doing it. Because She's she missing y'all. She missing. She missing her people. She missing them. Mm -hmm. We oh, miss her, we miss and her. we miss you too, Queen. Thank you I for call, for for answering my call. We need to see oh. you every week. I, I want to see know. you. Now I know. I think I'm gonna do it in the morning. Okay, I'm gonna make All sure. Right, I'm queen. not gonna Love stay going. Queen. Queen. Love you. All right, baby. Bye. 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 I ain't gonna stay going this talk. Virgo lady, I love you. I got your message. Everybody's message has been sending me message to the gag or the Kaya go live at Gmail. You know you can send um the gags to Kaya go live at gmail.com. I'm live every Monday on my website. Y'all already know. Uh, please support the queen and subscribe to gag order live. All of the gag order shows um, are there. You got archives of years of shows. Um, when I try to go live on YouTube or TikTok or uh, Facebook or Instagram, y'all already know I go too hard and them bitches is hater hoes and they report it for bullying. So I'm not live on social media anymore. I'm only live. Well, well, gag on the live. The show, the docket, the Queen's Court is on my website. So support the Queen. Go on, on over there so you can see all the shows. They are all over there. I'm live every Monday night at 8. Other than that, I am going to go live to make sure so y'all can see me because everybody's been sending emails and calling. So I wanted to make sure that I went live. <laughs> I've been seeing all the bullshit that's been going on and I do, I, like I said, the docket is still going strong every Monday night at 8. I just stay in my lane because there's a lot going on out here, y'all. And again, you got to protect your peace in that fucking order. Is you live? I
Am I lying? You lie. Hey, baby. <clears throat> Kaya, I hey. love you. I love you more. Gag me. Okay, look. I just want to say something to the Nation. Look, we love y'all, but let's keep it at three, two to three minutes. We don't want to talk to the queen. <laughs> oh, no. And you know I ain't hanging we up on the bottom. We don't want to talk to the queen. Hey, I love you. And I, I love, love what you do. Thank you. I, I, I watch you every time you come up. Oh, thank you. Oh, go I got to come down more often. Yo, listen, A to Z. A to Z. Yeah. Listen, A I've been gagging them bitches from the A to Z motherfucking blogs coming down those stairs on my face. This shit been going on, and now it's it's coming full circle. Oh, yeah. Almost definitely. Sure. I want to talk about Kaya. Now, I know you heard about that pastor, you know, with the Gucci suits and yeah, all this and all that. Yeah. He, he was going to jail. He going to jail. Lamar Whitehead. Yeah. But uh -huh, Lamar Whitehead. Why did he steal them old people motherfucking money from them people? And my thing is, why is y'all fools giving it to them? They own. <laughs> like, like, you know, take all my life savings? You know, scam them don't. old people. I just, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it, Kyer. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. I don't get it. But no, P did it going down. He need to go down. And you know who I think next? That, uh, that Zeus Network. If they don't shit, you know what? Lanithia Lee done took her ass over to the Zeus. Times done really got home. Mm -hmm. That shit makes my head hurt. They send it in. They can't get a job. Yeah. Like, what's going on? It makes my head hurt to even watch it. It's so much fuckery. And what I is Nick see. Cannon and his turban doing over there? <laughs> <laughs> Nick with the oh, sick yeah. dick. What side are you on? Are you on Team Nene or Portia? Like, who do you think wrong in that? Nene. Yeah. We on I don't the, know. We, I'm I on the cock eye of Nene. Nene. I'm on the Nene when that eye used to roll to the back of her head. This new <laughs> Nene, I don't know her. I'm on the old Nene. Nene's trying to look like Portia and then she want to hate on Portia. No, man. Face She's sticking in the old strip club every Friday night. No, man. I need the old Nene. She's been waiting for Greg to draw so she can pop out. I don't know. You know, I didn't like how she did, Greg. That's why I ain't on her side. We all know Portia is a hoe. She a slang pussy. That's why her name poor Portia, too. She's after the money. She a fuck an ugly nigga. She gonna do whatever she got to do to get the money. We already know that's who she is. But Nene has changed. She has. And it's, um, it's, I don't know. I don't know if it's giving you money, ain't got money, needs some money. I don't know. Because mm -hmm. she definitely took herself over to that, that news network and, um, let me gonna be next because there's too many allegations about him already. So, oh, so did he give everybody the claps over there? Did they say he fucking everybody? You gotta eat Natalie Nunn pussy to get a gig. Oh, <laughs> child, yes. child, they say yes. Natalie got them hoes eating her pussy. She playing in her pussy on dirty floors. Jocelyn Hernandez said her pussy was dry as hell on the dirty uh -huh. floor. On only sound like the first table scratching. Child, oh, oh, oh. oh. Say she, 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 say she cheating on her husband, fucking other niggas, fucking other hoes. Mm -hmm. What? And she gonna say, "Oh, me and my husband was on a break." When you take a break in the marriage, that you know, you can ain't no break in marriage. You ain't know, no break. you know, marriage ain't about shit no more. Everybody just fucking. What the fuck going on? You know, if I you fuck y'all, it, it's ass is a dick doing the break now. If I fuck y'all, love you. These bitches just I'm fucking everybody for the going north. It is. And man, so what you think gonna happen uh, with Meek Mill? They say Meek Mill tapped into this whole Diddy thing. That's a, that's that's Diddy lover, allegedly. You seen them niggas with the matching shirts? I was done after when they seen mm -hmm. sitting there. I was done. I, yeah. I ain't no explaining that a real nigga ain't dressing up like no another nigga. <laughs> and then not only that, Nikki like sis is cause Safarisha like a little dick. Meek uh -huh. Mill's like a little. I said, nigga, what your pussy turning niggas at? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. It's getting, it's getting, you know, like a little dick. Like the OJ trial. I think you they need to televise this because we need to know what's do, going on. do. Okay, what about Patty not showing up to court and Nikki got to pay that half a million dollars because he didn't show up to court? How security uh suing you that's supposed to be protecting you? What was that about? Nikki needs to drop that motherfucker like never before. Because honestly, it's not coming out of his pockets, it's coming out of yours. You are the breadwinner. And you ain't doing nothing but with him, honestly. Well, what why, why did you they jump have... on security? Like, because oh, supposedly, supposedly a fan had ran up on the stage. 
Uh-huh. Yeah, supposedly a fan had ran up on the stage and got to Nicki Minaj and the security let her by. Focus on what's going on around her. Hold on, baby. We're trying to see what he say. They say somebody's supposed to try to run up on stage. And what happened? Yeah, a fan had ran up on stage and got to almost towards Nicki Minaj and the security guard wasn't doing their job to stop them from getting up there. And Nicki had got mad backstage. And that's when Petty and them and all of them had confronted him and assaulted him or whatever. Oh, so they they well, assaulted the security because he didn't stop yep. the people? Okay. Yeah, I think it was a female. Oh. Yeah, I think it was a female, but yeah. She didn't okay, stop so why him. Why would you not show up to court and get a default? Exactly. Right. Mm. I don't know. I mean, I mean, you guys, you know, petty around, you know, threatening people's head. Just looking crazy like a little teenager. You need to go back to work. You need to go and that's up underneath the jail. Go about what he needs to do better. For real. She do. She and do. Just ain't working. She it's do. not working. We the people have but, to But um, look, Kaya, I love you. I didn't call this phone 200 times. I got the call off. Oh, well, I'm glad I you got to. through because they be calling. Look, they call this line. It's ringing. But we love you down I here in California. You. We really do. You need to come down here. Yes, I you do. Really do. They need to stop hating and on the queen. do what you do. Yes. Please go live more often on this. YouTube. I know people be hating, but please go live. I like, will. I'm looking for this. Oh, I got you, sis. I am. I am. And I we know need I another said. A through Z soon. <laughs> gag them all. I know who gagged them all because they out of control. They are. And they took your shit. Motherfuckers, all of a sudden, they want to be on here roasting and shit. Nah, 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 nah. That was Child, fine. Yeah. Exactly, let's, exactly. Let's, I'm let's, glad I gave you the blueprint. You know, now everybody wants to podcast and blog and roast, you know. So, you know, yeah. just understand. You know, that's what's up. Thank you, baby. But we love, love you, Kaya. We love, love you. Love you. And, um, you have a good one, okay? You too, baby. Thank you. Bye all right, baby. Bye-bye. Oh, I love y'all too. Oh my calling. goodness. Listen, they call me. Y'all call, I miss y'all too. I heard y'all. I heard I heard y'all calling. Listen, that's clean. Somebody call it FaceTime. Do you know what? Hold on. I'll be saying, okay. Let's talk about how Shell stole all Miss Holler's money and went and gambled it all at the casino. When motherfucking money, Shell. <laughs> <laughs> we know what they said the thing is. So did she get the dress for her baby or no? We don't know, but the dress was only $178. Ah. And yeah, but she had already made a video on Facebook begging, crying about the dress. And that's when she admitted that she gambled all Miss Holler's money at the casino. Then she made a yep. Then she made another post, Queen, where she thanked the church because the church had supposedly gave her some money. And then about two weeks ago, she came online talking about she wanted to swallow her pride and she knows she's gonna get dragged, but she need fourteen hundred dollars for Maya. To get a dress, and we ain't never seen Maya go to school. Where Maya daddy at? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You know, y'all got these people. If y'all gonna sit, what? Well, what's my cash app? Y'all, Kaya, uh, send me something. Being the best of y'all done spoiled these people, and they done told y'all that they gambling the money at the casino. And I don't know why Maya need a dress to go to prom on Zoom. When she, I so mean, got so comfortable begging on 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 know, begging for money. Why the fuck? I mean, why would she not have money to get her daughter a dress? After oh. stealing all that money, you know what I'm saying? So what they did with the money, G? Went to the casino and gambled it all up. So she's a gam- she, she's a gambling addict. Yeah. Y'all don't think she not no nan another dime. She's a gambler. <laughs> and don't send her not nan another mother. That don't make no damn sense. Because why they online begging? Was it the baby's prom dress? Yeah, that's what she was trying to get. Hey, Kaya, I got the real girl. Ah, hi, hi. I'm the gag the folks. Okay. Gag the up. first person I want to talk about is from these YouTube streets. I don't know if everybody know her, but I'm going to talk about that Peaches chick that's got seven kids and her husband, Wood, that's dumb. Y'all know who this is? <laughs> these mutants. Like Five creatures mutants from Kanye's. Kanye's. Not the music. She be gambling. She's from Florida, I think. She be gambling the people's money away. Everybody and gambling. And she always finna throw her slow husband out. But then she get pregnant and be lying and says she gonna get a divorce. I'm tired of her. What? I'm tired of her. Uh-uh. I can get it's Peaches McIntyre. Uh-uh. Peaches McIntyre. She a YouTube So people in the comments, they know who she is with her raggedy ass. You need to take care of them seven kids Ooh. and stop sending them to daycare or school and shit when you don't work. 
Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. That's why she lazy. Who lazy paid for the daycare? Who paid she for had the- started on Zimpic, but I guess it couldn't work for her fat, bad, uh, bad built ass. Ooh. So that's mm-hmm. another one. Talk about Diddy. Ooh. He did it. He did it. I don't did care what it. nobody say. Slim thug, you shut your uh, bald-headed, long-bearded ass up. Uh, then to talk about people, talk about we don't, we don't, we only got one billionaire left. They coming after Jay Z too. Oh, so shut your ass up. They gonna all. get Jay Z and they gonna get simple ass Beyonce too if she don't get away. Get away. Get away, Boy. girl. Run now. Take you and your kids that you like to hide. You better run now because they're gonna come after you. If they no, the, if they the main titties, baby mom and young Miami prostitutes and, and box and box and saying that he I wouldn't know how much her payroll was. Child, what you was really getting the two, wigs what is she getting 250k a month or something? Child. And an allowance. Was it worth it, Miami? Child. Was it worth it? And JT, you better stay your behind away from her ass. Child. Get away. Get away. It's okay. You can rap on your own. You've been doing the thing. Run. Ooh, I'm just saying. run for the hit. Cool. Sis say run. <laughs> Run, run. If, when you see a mark and a moron, you can, it, like she, you walking around. That's how the man get mad and include you in the indictment. How he get mad? She was prostituting too. And her cousin made, like, I know when I watched the thing, they said the cousin was involved too. So they take it down, young Miami. It's going down, sis. Child. You in danger, girl. You in You've danger, been girl. in danger, but you we tried to warn you. Yeah. Cassie. Uh-huh. Cassie, like, do you think Cassie is really a victim, though? No. Complicit in uh-uh. this stuff, she was sent, right? She was doing dead videos dead. under white blankets and shit. He making you wear white nails, making you get freaked off in front of him when he know he wanted the big black D himself. Oh, oh, out you. Get out of here. You knew he wanted it for himself. He was just a toy and a fool. But I did watch the psychic chick, Sloan I Bella. Saw that she, too. Did predict it. she did. She didn't say that he was gonna go down. She did. She did, but here, here's the thing. Sometimes I wonder with those people as well because why are you able to freely speak and ain't nobody took it. I mean, I know she said her child was killed, but still, you able to freely speak about certain stuff and other people get silenced. Mm. So sometimes I be side eyeing it, but tell us all you can, sis, because it done came true. Yeah. But she did say that they believe um, she channeled uh, Kim Porter and that she might have been held. Some stuff that poisoned her, and that's what killed her. Mm. That she that they had given her a faulty inhaler or something, mm. and she inhaled it, and it messed up her lungs. But the thing is, don't nobody talk about how Kamora Lee Simmons was there the day she died. You know what, Kamora knows some teas too. Well, her bad bill. Do you see her children? You see their faces? They got Ming Lee out here looking like handsome Squidward. I don't know what the fuck is going on with Ming Lee. Oh, Jesus. dude. Miss right. Uh, Since her dad left. I don't know daddy. what's going on with these children, but Kamora, look to your kids. Look to your kids. Yes. Pray upon them. Somebody better pray on them. Look oh, she look like she about a minus zero. Yeah, something. I want to know. Did she go to the doctor and be like, she took a picture and was like, give me this. Give me the strong chin because that's what's in them. I'm tired of you fools and you fools fooling with that weight loss medicine mm. and it's got your hands mm-hmm. looking like tummy knockers. Like, yes. what's going on? Your hair is huge as shit. Your body. Look at, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Ozzy Osbourne wife, Sharon. Um, Sharon right? had to get off that shit. Sharon said it was tearing her stomach up. She looked like a walking corpse. Yes. And Eva, even Martha Diva, too. And you're racist. Eva so you know you only had one leg to stand on. Uh, you sat on it, and now your ass looking like a walking corpse. Yeah. You're going right along with her. Right along with her, looking just ugly and haggard. That's what you get when you hate on black people. Ooh. God is kind to you. You be out here looking like a corpse. Surely. Looking dead ass. <laughs> Who else? Eva. Um, Eva. Eva, not the diva. She too little, too. She's ugly. She's on. Maybe she on that pink booger sugar. Remember when she was on all the work? Let's not act like that sister don't get around too because every man that's been dealt with her have been bad ever since. The only Ooh. one that survived is Lance Ross. That's Child. the only one. All her exes all tore up. That one baby looked odd that she had. She thought she was going to have two cute kids with that man and that one baby showed her. Show so her. God forgive me, but I'm going to call oh, it what oh, it oh. is. That baby is and you know, Gad, next year, you know what? We know the truth. <laughs> 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 well, ever since she left that husband, she's been looking drawn up like a prune. 
But remember, she's supposed to be divorced, and then he was fighting for her love back. He was. And remember, she kept renting homes and, and shit, and they told her because she couldn't keep a place. That's why she don't want to go back on TV. No. no on TV, they're going to tell your finances. You in Atlanta, bro. They're going to tell you, bro. Portia. They said she was a whole new African. Yes, yeah, your OD. You know Portia don't mind selling no pussy. Portia, one thing I can say is that bitch know how to fucking fuck. That bitch don't mind. She can fuck an ugly nigga. I'm see. not mad. I, ain't fucking no I don't know I if I would have put pink Florida Evans as my new, you know, storyline because he's messy. He's real sad. Oh, that's a girl. For a person that can't he is a girl. to the U.S. and can't pass the damn papers, he's doing a lot of shit. Too much for me. Sure too is. much. He definitely too spicy. He, he, yeah, baby. I've been dated, you know, an African or two. Kuta Kente will take you through, but I'm just saying, they will pay bills, so I'm not mad. Mm. I'm just saying, don't get, don't get you no saucy uh, Nigerian girl. They'll scam you and do it. And, and be ugly and at ready. the same time. And ready for his ass. Who else? Oh, hey. um, why Monica mad at Ray J? You know what, Gunica? You know she will roll. Monica with some with some ass, so I'm a little she scared of her. Rose. I'm a little scared of her. The fuck up, but Ray J. I want to know why she stopped messing with C. Murder. Like, girl, you've been riding for him all this time. You, well, she was fucking she murder on the side of the motherfucking fucking machine or not? Better and stay with the man that rode with you, even though his ass was in jail, girl. He wasn't leaving you. Cause um I forget they never talk about her baby dad the oldest one mm. and then she drove the young one crazy remember the basketball player he done lost his damn mind child Gunica, what you out here doing to these folks I what know. you doing I don't know she doing <laughs> she putting roots on them I She's think doing kind of the roots I think somebody put roots on Wendy because the decline is so crazy it's the eyes popped out her head her legs are swollen she look like the letter P I mean she been bad built for a long time. Ooh. But this level of it's real crazy. And then the fact they had her without a wig, it was just like, why y'all do that like that? But wait a minute, Wendy was looking yeah, good. Like, y'all ain't seen Wendy without no wig. I done seen her pass out her wig and come off there. So what the hell is going on? So wait a minute. I'm Wendy. mad that they, I, I won't bank with Wells Fargo. No. My job, I could get, get my check early, girl. And I'm not because they ain't fitting to lock my money up. Like no. That. Wells Fargo I'll ain't that right. i down. There'll be four <laughs> pillars on the crown. I know that's right. Money. But I feel like somebody put witchcraft on Wendy so she can't talk. If they say 2024 is the year of truth, they had to shut the bitch with the biggest mouth up because she can back it up. Okay. You can't tell me that whatever's going on with her, they, they put some roots on her. I don't know what she ate. I don't know what's in a bottle. We Wendy been doing drugs and shit for years and it ain't fucked her up this bad. Now granted, you can't do too much. No, that's but the truth. That's the truth. going on there because they said the son had her down wherever he was, and she was vegan, and she was, uh, you know, coherent. Yeah, cognitive. So mm -mm. y'all playing? She need to go back down there with Kevin. With, with uh, Look, Kevin. Mistletoe. She done kissed the wrong nigga under, but they got her ass. Yeah, they did. I feel bad for you, Wendy. I don't. Oh. I don't. Honestly, I don't think there's no coming back. I think Due she can come dementia. back if she come. If she. If she. If she get the love she needs. She. She's too isolated. Nah, she need Dr. Savy to pray away. Whatever the fuck they put on her, she needs Savy's Island. She needs something. Mm, I don't. I she think she's something. still on that her loving Kevin. I'm trying to think what else. I, I, Nene, with her interchangeable faces and nose. You know, I'm, I'm cool with you being on Zeus because we know Lemmy ain't, ain't sleeping with shit. So it's cool. You go ahead and get your little side gigs. I I think she I would love to see her back on Real Housewives, but it's never gonna happen. Once no. you start calling the honkies racist, you know, they'll never deal with you again. Never. So she ain't never coming back. Mm -mm. But I don't like what they did with Real Housewives of Potomac. Do you watch it? Not as not as much. What it ain't worth it. Don't, it ain't worth it. don't waste no brain cells on it. But I don't like the colorist stuff going on and how the network is okay with the shit. Mm. Because the way that them light skinned girls be icing out Wendy and Candy uh -uh. can't get with it. Because yeah. I've been in those situations and you be sitting there thinking like, don't think them pretty eyes and the weave you wear because all of them bitches don't got long hair. Exactly. And they ugly as well. But we ain't going to be colorist either. I'm just saying, we all come in different colors and sizes. Right. There's no way on any other network, everybody filming together. We the most prominent black network besides Atlanta and y'all can't even film with each other. Right. Y'all don't talk to each other. It's weird and it's not what we try and do in 2024. No. So hopefully they fire the other ones. But yeah. Robin, goodbye. Bye Robin. Bye Robin. Bye, 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 Robin.
Giselle still being a bitter old bitch she is with their entire ass outfits. She needs to fire that stylist. Like, girl, how you got long hair and your hair with the sh looks shitty every time she come in. She always well, like, Jamal she still fucking them other holes. So her soul tight legs ain't that bad no more, but her fashion still trash. And you want she got a clothing line like she buys Sharon. Yeah. So I don't know how successful it's gonna be her and big hit ass Ashley with her simple ass rubbing that golem from the um under the stairs um white man seat. Girl, good night. I'm tired of them too. Yeah. Trying to think what else, Queen? What else is going on in the world that we need to pray upon? Um, because it, it's going to shit. It's going to shit. I um, want to hear think, what you got uh, to what say. Do you think about what's name having a podcast. Who? Shook Knight. You know what I was just saying? She was just live saying that um Puffy wasn't going to be safe in jail, but I was like, how does nigga got a podcast in jail? You know, he's got a podcast. He doing, he telling shit. It's just like, if you don't sit your killing ass down, if you ain't going to tell about the murders you committed, I don't want your shit. Oh, you got to some stuff too. And they throw you under the bus. But I want to know how the girl Gypsy Rose came home and became internet famous. How you off your mom? Sha oh, oh, and, and now you got a million of followers, probably goddamn sponsors. She probably making more money than me on social media. Surely is. What? I just don't get it. We we prop up the most craziest shit. Hey, yeah. I you like it. You got these TikTokers now. Well, not even TikTokers. The um. The streaming people that be going on the other bingos and stuff be controlling everything. Look at Queen Op, how she did Michelle, busting her all upside her head. Now, uh -uh. Her lesbian lover is beating on her. She beating on her. Something herpes was spread. It was a whole bunch of nasty, just nasty work. It's too nasty much work on the social on. media and the internet. And we tired. Yeah. I love you, Queen. I love we you, miss too. You, but I love when you disappear because it makes us love you more when you come back. So y'all stop Aww. asking the Queen to do more than she had to. Let her stay on her throne. I love you. Let her come and fool with the commoners every now and again. Other than that. Everybody always want to come for you and act like you ain't laid down the foundation for the gags and the reeds and everything else. Like yeah. everybody, you can shave, you can do all sorts of stuff, but you are entertaining. Everybody can't take that talent away from you. That's right. So Thank all you. you simpletons, fools, and dummies, keep it cute and yeah. keep it on you because we're going to continue to rock. Up. Queen, you're going to continue to prosper Thank you. and let the losers lay where they may. I know, that's right. Y'all better like, y'all better comment, y'all better subscribe, and you better drop money on that cash app oh, for the thank queen. You. Love oh, you. Have I a good love night. you too. You too, baby. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, let me tell y'all, my petty juice is gone. Let me get me a drink. We're gonna take a break and we'll be back. Make sure you call in 404 914 3587. <laughs> Then I'm getting it, ain't it obvious? Look, you a bitch, you a hoe. That's just my philosophy. Yeah. And I'm known to kick it like the captain of a soccer team. Billy G, red, love the same color, red, love, red, love. And she brainwashed, head gone. I'm be fresh as hell if the feds watch. I'm be fresh as hell if the feds watch. I'm be fresh as hell if the feds watch. I'm be fresh as hell. Two 
guns, you send me deep. Niggas put that clock on your ass. Cut that hell the beat. Pumping that amphetamines. All this deal peddling. I be summer settling. So where the crew have never been. To the top you never be. You might need a respirator. Money on the rise like I'm counting on the elevator. You gon' need a detonator. Swimming with them barracudas. Put that rocket on that motherfucking prosecutor. I 
promise I'll never leave you. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. You're not a one nighter. I want you for a lifetime. Wanna oh, be one time, I spend on only one time. They were saying that um Tyler Tyler Perry was um oh, I think allegedly um the salt king um people. What's your thoughts on it? You say Tyler Perry is supposed to have been assaulting people, or you think he's yes, assaulting? sexually assaulting. Well, they say Tyler done left that woman he got that son from and left her. So you know, we, mm. we know Tyler is one of the children, he's not ready to come out and live his best life yet. Mm. Um, but I, I you know, what happened to that guy who was claiming what is it, Christian? What was his name that was claiming somebody was 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 trying to get him to do all kind of stuff, and then he just took the story back, snatched the story back. Did Tyler pay him? I think I forgot just his name. I don't want to. What is his I, name, y'all? <laughs> What's his name? Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, but him, he was the one that was coming out. Everybody thought he was talking about Tyler, but he never mentioned who he was talking about. So I was like, well, has he got paid? You know, he hushed. Yeah, he did hush. You think Tyler been doing some freaky shit? And you know, because most of the actors and stuff, we already know that he be looking at the body. He be doing the body. And now they making a, they making just a new um uh, um um uh, um movie. Mm -hmm. A new Madea so, movie. Uh huh. I don't know. <laughs> well, we sick of Madea. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Uh, you, they say Tyler be at them Hindo them 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 uh them 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 uh. Islands and stuff, having all kind of private parties, but you know, ain't nobody came for it um, yet. P, um, P, um, P, um, and all them. It might have been. We don't put nothing past Tyler. What you think? No, I don't, I don't too much care for him. Yeah, he really did. He, he be making like everybody, um, all the males you look bad. Yeah, he, he, he do. And the movies I, is tied and through, huh? The movies is tied and through. It is, and they talking about um the daddy Meek Mills. Mm -hmm. Who else? All of them um just ridiculous. Yes. Twenty. It's twenty 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 um twenty four now, yes. and you know it's coming out. Mm -hmm. You said it. Come you on out. Come out. Face. Come out. Wherever you are. How did you like the Kelly Rowland movie that Tyler did? Did you like it? I haven't watched it yet. Oh, okay. I haven't watched it yet. Everybody's saying it's tired of the Don't watch it tonight. You didn't watch it. Oh, you gotta watch I, it. Yes, I will. Yeah. It was something else that I wanted to talk about because I've been on um, the guest calling and they've been <laughs> I've been calling. You've been called. You got through. Yeah. Yeah, I got, I got through. Yes. Um, yeah. It was something else. Uh -huh. Y'all know that um back in the day you did like DSD. DSD. Um, mm -hmm. that DSD. Down South like, Diva. Like in, and, and like and like this contact like I'm with them because they made like I guess um the bangers. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no, I haven't seen them in a while. I know I talked to Tata a few years ago. She had a baby. She got a baby. Uh, you know they had children, and I hadn't seen them. You know they was Taz, uh, a Dirty Downs group. So yeah. after I, you know, once I found out that they was was thieves, um, oh. I hadn't seen those girls. I moved to Atlanta right after that, so I haven't seen them. But hopefully they still doing their thing. Yeah, I still like play like all of your. Um Y'all let your um the music. Like, yes. like, I play y'all y'all every day. <laughs> oh, thank you. I that mean, music is timeless. And I, I, I for the uh hip hop's fiftieth year anniversary, I did um the K Wang and Don't Trust yeah. No Nigga and uh, that. Like Me. And, that was like last year though, right? Yeah, and everybody was sending into the docu where yeah, juvenile. I, I, I think I have all of your um CDs because I have this, as you can see. Oh. <laughs> 
I'm a fan. Yes, well, thank you, baby. I really appreciate it. So, yeah. Yeah. They said that Juvenile just put out 400 Degrees and everybody was saying, oh, this is so cool that he's, you know, getting a classic from back in the day and doing a video to it like the Queen didn't do that two, you know, years ago. Yeah. So I'm yeah. glad that, you know, a classic is a classic and you make new fans. People get to see the visuals of your songs. Right. And I love Juvenile. You know, that was my time. We all was on the road together at that time uh, when mm -hmm. 400 Degrees was out. So, yeah, I'm glad that you, you know, are, you know, enjoy those records and are still listening to the albums. And that's what's up. Yeah, that's good. You was more classier, like um, back in the day. Mm -hmm. Even like I think the last, like they had like Trina, Jackie O, and I just feel like you, you was more um, classier. Mm -hmm. um, like, yeah, they make it seem like um, my neck, my neck, your back is like just like the just like the whole only song. Right. Um, I, and Kaya, we already know you have a lot of hits. They better get them. <laughs> Download yeah. those albums, y'all. Yes. Every mood. <laughs> I know that's right. Whatever mood you oh, yeah. need, I got a song for the occasion. So oh, thank yeah. you. Thank you, baby. <laughs> thank you. Yes, mom. Mm -hmm. But that's it. Y'all came through um just a lot. It's so much. It's so much to the point to where I'm like, dang. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I think you came out. Everything's um, coming out. Everything is coming once, out. I think um Cassie um once once, once I think Cassie um felt like just that whole like um like um lawsuit. Mm -hmm. Everything came out. Um, Everything so. came out. You know what was done in the dog? We keep saying that's why y'all don't got that to do because you listen. It's gonna come out sooner or later, Pretty. you know. So just live your and truth. Papoose. Oh, papoose. Wait a oh papoose. <laughs> Let's talk about that. Do y'all think Remy been cheating on papoose? Listen. At that at that whole birthday party, um, they looked it, they didn't they just looked at um divorced. Mm -hmm. Like you know, she was just looking at him. It just didn't like seem right. Mm -hmm. And then you did say Kaya, you did say he was a um, he was on um, Pisces and y'all Pisces too. And just the one thing thing about it, once we like I'm quiet, yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> once we get quiet, yeah, that's it. So yeah, you call you, did say you know, everything. I told her, I said, you're so hard. You know, you need to soften up and be a lady for your king and spoil him and be feminine with him. And, you know, this is a king. This is Papoose. And child, right. she done lost her damn mind. She got feminine, though. She took the queen advice. You know, she <laughs> softened up a little bit, you know. But, damn, you went and fucked the nigga that's a goddamn knockoff Papoose. I thought it was just for a storyline. I was like, no, uh, this has to I be a storyline. She showed um just the whole um pictures mm -hmm. of him mm -hmm. and his teeth. You seen it? No. But I wasn't too like um impressed. Mm -hmm. Missing the teeth in the front. Mm -hmm. So I said, mm, she you were letting letting him suck you off mm -hmm. <laughs> with them whole messed off teeth. I said, child. <laughs> Mm. I was not too, um, mm -mm. They were trying to say that he was being a physically abusive to her. Do you believe it? Oh, um, Papoose? Mm -hmm. Or the other dude? Papoose. Mm. Well, I mean... We, you know, allegedly, have... none of us have the real tea because Papoose hasn't said anything about it. And really yeah, hasn't really said hasn't. anything about it. But that they were true. saying that, they, that he was abusive. Um, that uh, he had been cheating. And, um, you know, that she had been going through a lot. I don't know. But it's like, I don't know. It's like, I'm like, what is going on? Like, is this just for a storyline? Are they filming? Is it going to come out on the storyline? Or is it true? Are they still together? Are they not? Mm -hmm. You know, I don't we know. We don't know yet. Yeah, we don't know. We don't <laughs> know. I, I don't want to believe that Remy just cheated on her husband. Something had to happen. So I'm going to spare her. Until I get a little bit more, it, you know, until Papoose to tell me what's going on. You can um escape and um yes WB because I'm um, I'm going. Oh, you, know, about, you know what? I was happy to hear yeah. that they were going. I really was because you know they be hating on me even though none of them don't have no no lyrics or no breath control like the Queen. Y'all hoes need the Queen on these tours. I am, you know, but they be taking their hate to work. Hate to work. I feel like everybody need to come together and get money because one person ain't gonna be able yeah. to carry a agree. tour. Y'all you know? like um you call it um just escape yeah. just WB seven oh seven oh two. 
all of them. Yeah, my, I think they're like, going to do good together. And I think all of them together, everybody's fans is going to come out and it's going to be yeah. good. And I'm glad the R&B girls can do that. And hopefully the hip hop girls can do it eventually because everybody wants yeah. to see us. They don't, they don't. I think that just WB, they don't be, be uh, I think giving um, just WB just a whole like they from promise. credit. Uh huh. They're good. I like in the all first, of them. The, on that whole first um, album, mm -hmm. they had Oxy Brown. Mm -hmm. uh, who else? Your little Cam. Mm -hmm. your, they had basically all, everybody. Yeah. Album. So I just feel like if like basically like you're like a real Yes W um, B fan, mm -hmm. listen to their whole like first album. Yes. I think it's gonna <laughs> be a good show. I think the Monica and Brandy show would be good. So I, I think it's gonna be good. Monica, yeah. Brandy. I like, like, like Monica every day. Yeah. Like, basically, you, I think Monica and um, Nikki, all of y'all, y'all, y'all like my top. <laughs> I'm gonna off my goddamn. So, yeah. How, like, do, you, how um, do you think Nikki's Brandy. doing at her tour? I'm going. She, she, I'm in like I guess Austin, so um, I, I'm gonna like see her. You going to I see think, her? Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> But I'm not too um ha too like happy with her because mm. she's doing too much mm -hmm. now. <laughs> How did you she like? Uh, do you like Cardi? How did you like the single? Ah, uh, tied to Zendaya. Oh, <laughs> not tied. <laughs> Baby said tied to Zendaya. We not liking got, the single. Oh, uh, I'm just diamond. Not if you buck. I said. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. <laughs> well, Cardi say she ain't doing no more talking. She fighting bitches, so she says she ain't doing no more talking. She needs to stop fighting. <laughs> she needs to do. All of them need to stop. I think they all need to go on tour together. Nikki, Cardi, Megan, yeah. all of them, and I think it would be a good a good show together. One on one, I don't, I don't, I, you know, everybody doing the solo thing. Even even JT, it's like. You got to get other girls on it. I don't yeah. feel like she's going to be able to carry it. Nikki with Monica, it's okay, but stop taking your hate to work, you know, and get some other girls that can back you because I don't think she's going to be able to do no 40 cities by herself. Yeah, I need uh, Monica just like, just like, I, just, just like I guess, just, just like I guess, um, sing like y'all her uh, older songs, mm -hmm. all of her. Two songs. We need all the songs. She mm -hmm. doing forty um tours. Y'all don't want to hear so gone. I right, don't want right. to hear. Should have known better. Yeah. <laughs> I want to hear all of her on um, bops. Yeah. And I feel like Monica. She has a whole like catalog. She does. Well. Yeah. And I just she jamming all of her all, all of her um the hits, and yeah. I just don't. I don't know. Okay, Monica, the children say you need to sing some more songs. We have, you know, extensive catalogs. They don't want to hear them saying the three, four songs. Right. You know, do do a variety. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking forward to that just on tour to be able to do, Look. you know, the hip hop, the R&B stuff <laughs> together, all of the album stuff. They need to stop taking, y'all hoes need to stop taking y'all hate to work. And everybody need to come together and come on a good show. <laughs> I have all of your CDs. Oh, <laughs> I have mom. Yes, thank you. You welcome. Oh, baby, thank you for calling. I had a, a question. Mm -hmm. Um, yo, um, just your whole um mixtapes. Where can I like buy that? I think that you know what? Yeah, like I, 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 yeah, and I was trying. I, one of the uh the married to music was out for a while. And then it, they took it down. I don't know what was the reason why they took it down. So I need to just try to upload the um the mixtapes back, at least on YouTube. Um, mm -hmm. I downloaded them like I think I downloaded them. Cause I think that just just a whole like on the website mm -hmm. they had, but and I had like I had like purchased it. Yeah, so, yeah, y'all purchased it. I think they had like every all of your um the music. Yeah. The music. On there, including just your whole mixtape. I bought it. Oh, that's what's up. <laughs> on, yeah. Yes. But yeah. Oh, that's what's up. Well, you send me an email or a text. I can also I can mail it to you. Okay. Where can I like email it? Um, email. It's, uh, the email is Kaya Go Live at Gmail. Kaya Go Live. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, Gaggle the Live. Uh -huh. Kaya Go Live at Gmail dot com. Oh, thank you, baby. You too. Thank you for calling. Yes, ma'am. All right, baby. Bye bye. Oh, y'all look so cute on your FaceTimes. Listen, it, 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 and I'm gonna oh. let you talk. If you already know I'm gonna let you talk. Hey, gag or to gag us. Thank you, baby. Mm, hey.
Hey. Hey. I got through. You got through. What's C? Oh, okay, honey. I'm so happy I got through. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, up? honey. I'm a real fan. Okay. Well, I love you. And honey, it's a lot to gag about. Yes, it is. Good. <laughs> Damn it. It's a lot to gag about. And let's well, let's start. We do love Juvie. We do love Cash Money. We love the 9 and the 2000. But shout out to you. Okay. Because we know we know what you did. We know you brought back that Kang Wayne. Hi, Shoddy. You brought hold on, hold on, what else now? Hold that on. don't it's trust no nigga in that motherfucking like me. Like and, and I was shooting the rest of the bitch. Like it's just like that. But then as soon as like they that. see him do that, oh well, that's so awesome. That he, I said, bitch, y'all bitch, bitch. Get why she shooting her own videos? Why would I not? They mad. Get a queen her props. And you know what? And I not to hold on, I didn't hear you what say. No, no, no. I'm listening. And not to take no shine off you, but you know who else who did it? Who ain't been getting a lot of props? And they did it a, 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 a little bit ago. Pastor Troy did it. I love PT. You know I love PT. Who Pastor don't love PT? So it's a yes. lot of people that started doing it. I'm glad he bringing light to it. Yeah. But show, we got we to gotta put it out for those yeah. who have paid the yeah. way. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Shout out to Pastor Troy. Y'all already know we love the pastor. You know what was Pastor Troy fucking that little midget? Rest child, rest I don't think that nobody. I, I think he was now. <laughs> but, but you know what? At least it was a midget and not a child. Oh, oh in that motherfucking it order. It wasn't the children. Oh, shit, little mini. What her name was? We love P.T. Cruz, but you know we gonna gag. Don't act like we ain't forgot about that motherfucker we, supposed to be chasing that, we, that long dick we, down there and on the old national. Okay. I know that's right. What else is and also let's see um what else we gonna gag about we all we we i love how 50 cents stepping on on diddy's neck Child. well we know it's by some pussy though it always be by some pussy niggas wanna yeah. fall out by some pussy so can you please do an order to because i know you said you're gonna you're gonna get the children we know we trust kai with the children please. can we get an order Bring can we get children. an order to get diddy's children Child, i gotta get the twins i gotta get the motherfucking twins <laughs> twins don't get all of them he sure. gotta get get the baby they said that one son oh little baby love where her mama at where the asian bitch at that slow my enemy was arguing with he, we heard from her quiet as kept sure. quiet as kept get them children honey we gonna get them get them sister get, get them children bring the queen the children they're gonna be safe over here with me under the bed it, it sure is it is it is it is sad but hey it, it needs to be done and whatever will be done will come to the light 2024 has been a it has been a time to laugh it has it has been a refresher from all the mess that we've been through the past few years yes it's a and we only in march only exactly I'm telling you. And you know what else I want to, uh, speaking of music and going back to it, I want to, um, what you think about Killer Mike winning the album of the year? You know what? And then they locked his ass up. Now, why they do Killer Mike like that? If a man like that? They ain't had to do Killer Mike like that. They ain't have to, because the Killer Mike is, un he, I was going to say he unproblematic, but he's, he's a rebel with a cause. Yeah. What was he that is. about? Why did they lock him up? Like, see, I mean, I think he won three Grammys that night. They said he, few. he did win a few. I don't really, I really don't even know why. I ain't heard nothing about it, but I would like to know. But he sure got up out of there real quick. I know that's right, y'all. He sure did. But I just wanted to send you some love. I'm gonna let you go thank ahead you, and take baby. some other calls. But Kai, we love oh, you. I love y'all. Yes, oh, very, you, you timeless. You creative. Yeah. And what would you say? You ain't fucked out. You ain't fucked over by this industry, and we love it. I know that's right. Somebody got to stand ten toes down and say that they wasn't having it. I, I'm here for it. Love, love you, queen. Home. Love you, baby. All right. <laughs> bye bye. Oh, I love y'all, Gag Nation. I made sure I came live for y'all. Gag, well, let's talk about it. Florida, Lakeland, Lake Florida. Florida. Lakeland, Florida, in the building. Hey, babe. Oh, hey, 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 oh. What's he? Oh. <laughs> Gag up. Live? You live. Hey, you so cute. She gone. Oh. Rick Ross and Tia. You know Tia Scorpio, so I got to be teams. You know Scorpios, y'all been showing out. What's the game? 
Okay, I just I'm just laughing at her. She's funny and entertaining, but the way she be calling him big fat. Cha. The way 50 Cent had her on front of that magazine cover. You know, this shit been going on for a while. You know what, Rick Ross? I, she ain't finna pull, take her foot off that nigga neck. She I'm just catching y'all. up with Tia Kim. She lit, though. I don't care what nobody say. Everybody talking about they need to get her and you in the room together. Yeah, look, that's why I say y'all know she a Scorpio, so you know we gonna cut up. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. she been roasting that nigga for years. So we got I'm, I'm riding with Tia. I got to ride with Tia because Ross know he ain't right yeah. with a little bit ass leg. Where he going with a little bit ass leg? <laughs> Try them turkey legs at the bottom. Love you. Um, we trying to tell the people they be hating on you. No, oh, no. I know that's right. Oh, thank you. We ain't gonna hold up the line. Okay. All right, baby. Can thank I get you. A picture? Can oh, I get a picture with let me you try to get you a picture. Hold on, let me see. Okay, please, please, girl. You don't see me. Look, they call no, me. No, I don't see you. Hold I don't on. see you. They call me. Hold on. Okay. Dang. Hey. Right. Hold on. We're gonna get it. Okay, okay. we're gonna, gonna get it. Yes, gonna get please. It. Please. Oh my oh. god. Look, child, they're gonna call this bitch a thousand times. Let me see. I can't get you. Let me see. Oh, we can too, please. Okay, hold on. Oh, the people, they're gonna have to wait. I waited. Oh, I don't see you. I don't know. I don't know. Hold on, let me see. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna let the people go. Okay, I'm gonna call next week. Okay, all right, baby. Bye. <laughs> oh, she over here. I know. <laughs> I'm trying to get it. Hold on. I can't get you. They gonna call. They call every second. Hey, baby. Hey. Oh, look. That phone do not stop ringing. Hey. I can hear you. Hey. Well, about time I can get in. God damn, you too, baby. What's up? <laughs> hey, my bad. I hey, know they call. There's so much been going on. I can't see you. It, it froze up. It it's don't, all that's good. They call. I haven't talked to you in about two years. I sent you a text. I ain't been gone that long. Now. I ain't been gone no two years. Well, I ain't been able to get through to you in about two years. He came down here to Lakeland, Polk County. Come we on, Polk County. Come on, motherfucking Polk County. Come on, motherfucking Polk County. We all through your line, although you don't mess with the tampon. Although you don't mess with the tampon. Only a few. There. Only a chosen few. Because they be taking their hate to work. Look, <laughs> but I fuck with Lakeland, Polk County, motherfucking club, Kathleen, though. I bet y'all do. Oh yeah, we already know. We already know. See, hey, some some get in and some don't. Hey, mother I just want to come through and show you some love. Look, I know everybody be want be wanting to come through and gag, but hey, we need we need some classes on how how did you know your creativity? You as an artist, so many people you need to drop some gems on how how you keep that creative mind flowing. How when you get up in the morning, you do your morning pages when you just get the writing. That's Maybe what I get the writing. Artists, Baby, I get the writing, and you know what I just said? That I said, when you have the gift of music and you sing for the Lord, you, you don't be out there fucking and doing all this other shit. See, these motherfuckers is, is fakes. They ain't no real artists doing music, writers that's doing what they love. They want that fame and that money and that instant gratification. For mm -hmm. me, I, this is what I do. I've been writing music since I was a little girl. This is what I do. I'm going to be singing to the Lord when I get through them pearly gates. Them motherfuckers ain't going to make it. You know, yeah. so it, you gotta take time out when you a writer. You gonna write these bitches ain't no damn writers. Yeah, you 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 you're a real artist. Your dance, your your whole backstory. To people, they they get so caught up into, um, you know, into the negative, but they don't understand you as an artist. So yes. I respect you, and I just want to acknowledge that that part of you. Yes, thank you, baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're welcome. Hey, and we ready? We ready? Wet, ready for a new web series? I What's know that's up? right. Listen, they are. I, I'm. I'm coming back online. You know what? I I hadn't been online because they so fucking messy. Man, whenever you're ready. Whenever you're ready. Whenever you got you're ready, them cameras, ready. Daddy. Oh, whenever you're ready. Yes, they ready. We gotta get the word. <laughs> I'm. I'm. I'm gonna send you a text to your other number. Okay, baby, shoot me a text. That's what's up. Peace and love. All right, love. All right baby. Peace. Oh, I love y'all more. I thank y'all. Y'all know I ain't finna let these motherfuckers get on my goddamn nerve. They so damn messy. I be like, what the hell is going on? Uh, mm -mm -mm. Hey, baby. Hey. 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 Oh, my God. Hey, queen. It's me. Remember from COVID, blood of the lamb. Come on now. Look, you holler from COVID. It's been that long since you talked to the queen. 
Yes, Queen Dad Lona, you got me through COVID. I stayed inside the house and now they got me an African. Uh -huh. and, um, child, I'm happy. I ain't alone no more. I know that's why you got you a good African, not one like poor horse or two. Child, I'm not no Porsche at all whatsoever. I ain't selling books. All books. I know that's fucking right. Oh, well, good to hear. Love wins. Cause love ain't win with Portia and Simon while they were trying to love wins with you. <laughs> then Portia say love wins and that bitch going through the divorce court aisle. Baby, you still I got shit to talk about. I just want Cause you cutting in and out. Look, we good and tipsy. You cutting in and out. See, that's that FaceTime. You gone. Look. Can you hear me? No, she can't hear me. That be your end. Hey, baby, gag us. Yeah, friend. Hey. Hey, yes, I got to gag you for a little bit. Gag me. Yes, I'm talking about 50 Cent and his whore. 50 no cent. You know what? Vivica ain't had no business eating that nigga's ass. He's still throwing shots at her. What the fuck going on with Vivica face? Child, who knows? Child. Gag us. You got some gas for us? Hello? Where you going? Oh, look, they calling. You gone? Look at the queen. Hey, baby. Queen. Hey. I like dick matized and I like I'm hot. The songs she was really singing, no. They don't know about them, but those are hits too, and they stick like grits. That's all I got to say, Queen. I love you. I She's love being you a real one in the game. Thank you. Love you. Later. <laughs> bye bye. I got to make sure I play so hot. Oh, y'all know y'all need to see the Queen live. Book a show by an album. Hey, baby. I think it's hard for me to keep cool. I can hear you. Hi, I love you so much. I love you more. I love you more. What's the tea? Gag us. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm about to gag you. So I, I got my list together. I got my feet that I want to get together. Now, mm -hmm. how do you feel about that quiet on set documentary about Nickelodeon? You know what? I blame the parents because I was like, well, where the fuck was the parents at when it was going on? Was exactly. They those parents felt them kids horribly. Yes. Like, there is no way that some grown ass man is saying that he the agent of my son and he calling him more than I am. Like, there's no way. And no they, way. Did they, like Joe Jackson, did they give him the money and send them off and, and, <laughs> and, 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 and just do whatever they want to do to the fucking kids? Exactly, but you know what? The first thing I thought when I saw that, I said that explains why. Um, I don't know which one is Kenan or Kel, but the smaller one that explains why he disappeared for a few years and then he got back on the scene versus the big one. He kept him a scene. Yeah. And did you see his interview when they asked him about it? Did you see his like body language and how his eyes were shifting? And I'm like, yeah, sir, it's not, you got a story that yeah. you just don't want to tell. Yeah, yeah. Orlando Brown had already told. I mean, look at Amanda Bynes. Yes. Britney Spears. Yes. Oh my they were God. all Disney Nickelodeon kids. They all fucked up. Yes. Wow. And it's so sad because I've been seeing a lot of the um the new generation. They like, oh my God, I hope Disney don't come out. And I'm like, baby, they the ringleader. Yes. Baby, Disney is the ringleader. You better know it. That's a guy oh that shiny. Mm. Yeah, it's sad. Those kids, those are my, I'm an 85 baby, so mm -hmm. I grew up watching, you know, those shows. Oh, and yeah. it's just like, it make you look at all of them, um, them shows, like, I wonder if Tia and Tamara got a, a, a story. And oh. then it's like, what happened to the Olsen twins? What happened to them girls? You know, they got little before Ozempic even came out. Them bitches got exactly. little before. <laughs> ah, you know, we know. You know what? And I liked it, the Olsen. They were so sweet. Yes, as little baby. Yeah. Yeah, but they got little before old Zimping, so they got some secrets to tell. They so did. But speaking of um old Zimpic, have you um how do you feel about uh Tia Kemp and Rick Ross? You know, we she gags me. Yes, I said, you know, that's my Scorpio sister, so she can't do no wrong. Scorpios have been <laughs> showing out. <coughs> but Rick Ross know what it is. That's your baby mama. You should always look out for her. If you can look out for these hoes, you should be looking exactly. out for your baby mama and your fucking exactly. son. Exactly. So I don't have no problem. 
Cause you see teeth. how he did Twiggy Bear. He he screwed on her for a little bit. Let yes, her he take did. her cute little pictures. Got her teeth done and sent her on about her merry way. Sure did. And they say she went to the Drake concert trying to do rebound with Drake. I say, girl, man. Uh huh. But did you see in response today, Rick Ross went live playing Drake. Um, this song that Kendrick said about him. I said, y'all so pressed over the pussy. You know them some men now. Them some bitches. They've been two more fighting with dicks. You know them niggas like rubbing their dick heads <laughs> together. Ain't no real niggas doing all that. Yes. Uh, Speaking of demons, let's talk about Drea and her baby dad. What is Drea doing with that child? Child, she needs to be her her home needs to be seized next. Cause ain't no way that is a child your age. How does can how can a child your age turn you on? I got an 18 year old. I'm 38 years old. I don't even like 37 year olds. Like Show me, that's weird. I know. You know what, so but you weird. know what? She dingy and her mind is of a 20 year old. She dingy. She uh -huh. she's dingy. Well, never she's lie. always been dingy. And then she ugly as a motherfucker. She another one yes. of those strong face, high yellow bitches that cat we used to talk about. Ain't nothing pretty about Dre. And then she in pain because she always got this mad look on her face. Like she knows uh -huh. how. It's a uh -huh. bitch. You know what messed me up, Kaya? I, I was on Facebook one day and I saw a quote and it hit me to my core. And mind you, I've never experienced it, but it made so much sense. Mm. It said, This our generation keeps saying how, like, the Chucky Reds and all of them is too, like, specialized. And the girl was like, That's because our generation molested them. And I was yes. like, Damn. Because that's that crack, that crack. <laughs> Yes. Ain't no telling what, cause you know what? I don't know them children. And again, they children, my children in their thirties. I'm old as a motherfucker. But it's like, look, girl, <laughs> what the fuck going on? They 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 talk about eating ass. They talk about their coochie yep. steak. They talk about yep. sucking dick. They talk about toes, and they know, bitch, ain't nobody riding like that. Exactly. It's like the, the world is in there. You talking about eating a nigga booty? Yes. No way. And they got the nerve, Karen. That's the sad part about it. Uh, I say, look, girl, I don't know what's going on, but I know they're not going to be around 25 years later like like we are. They ain't going to make it. It's so many right. sexual, sexual transmitted diseases. They going, they, they fucking each other, swapping all kind of shit. They're not going to make it with the drugs yeah. and this hypersexual behavior. It ain't going to, they're not yeah. going to make it. They're not going to make it. Mm -mm. Yeah, and then I was watching this security guard on, or just telling his story, and he said, "Yeah, half of these men in the industry is gay because they go to these parties, they get their drinks and whatever laced up, and then they waking up in the morning with their anus and their penis hurting, sure. and the people are like, oh, so you don't want to find to me? Let me show you this video of how you got down last night.'" And they so embarrassed because you know they supposed to be doing it, but they like, "Man, I can't let you get out to these people," and that's how they got. People, aka Meek Mills and all these other people calling them daddy and doing jumping jacks on the yacht. Like it, it's making sense and it's so sad like, because jacks I have been following you like I saw my 85 baby. So your music came out when I was in high school. Yeah. You, your message has literally been the same. It has not changed. Nobody has ever came out and said she a lie. She's not telling the truth. Yes. And to see it come full circle, you were the first person I thought of. And a lot of people on this YouTube app trying to act like well, Jaguar's trying to act like she was the first person that said it. And I'm like, no, ma'am. No, I ma was the first person yes, that rung the bell yes. and blew the whistle and said, this is what's going on. Listen, I was there with them all. We all grew yes. up together. And that's why when I look back at them, it's so it's heartbreaking, really, yes. to see I my know. peers um, just be destroyed the way that they have with sex and drugs and violence. A lot of them, none of them didn't make it. They didn't make it. Yeah. They didn't make it. Yeah. They ain't making it. And they still being destroyed. So it's like, but I, it's like to see the beginning of it and it was all fun and games. And now that we in our 40s and 50s and they just mm -hmm. fucked up, going to jail, sick. It's like, tell yeah. these kids the truth. Yeah. Tell these and kids they so the sad truth. to see our black people doing it because like you said, that's normally for the, the non-melanin. Yeah. We don't indulge in behavior like in behavior exactly. like this. So to see how far we took it is like it's it's disheartening, it especially really raising children mm. in this generation because mm. like they're seeing this and yeah. they're mimicking they're mimicking this. And you can be the best parent in the world, but your can't your child still has to go out into this world. Yes, so that's why I tell people you have to fight over your children. All you day. Have to. Unplug, yes. get under the bed. 
and see about yep. your tribe, see about your family, love on them, let them know right yes. now. They don't even know how to pray. When they are in yep. danger, they turn into guns or they friends or sex or drugs or depression or anxiety. No, teach your fucking kids whether they one to 31 how to That's pray, right. how to call on God when you're not there. They don't want to do it. It ain't no God. It ain't no this. It ain't no that. They don't know how to do this. Ain't no, that. no, we weren't raised like Absolutely that. Absolutely not. That's right. You got to know That's you right. stronger. You got to know you better. You got to pray that you're going to be all right and that you're safe. You got to manifest yes. things in your own life. Teach them. That's why right. you're not there. They gotta have. Somebody. I have three boys, and I tell my kids. Granted, we don't go on the church every day. Like yeah, I was raised, I was raised. We, we, we went to church, church Friday, Saturday, Sunday, everything. Like so, I was in the church. I was in everything. But my kids know who God is. That's right. They know the Bible. That's right. They know the difference between being worldly. They they yes, know, and I make sure my children know because I'm like, you're not gonna be of this world. I don't care no. what the new one is. It's not in our household. Exactly, sis. Exactly. These kids are lost. Yeah. They don't have nowhere to turn. They can't turn to the teachers. They can't turn to no mentors, yeah. no coaches, yeah. no no churches. They don't. Everybody fucking. They fucking the kids. Like, yes. What the fuck is going on? What What is the war on the children? They killing the yeah. kids. I don't know what the fuck going on. That's why I've been under the bed. I'm just me shocked. Too. My <laughs> me too. Me too. I'm saying me and my kids. Yes, we have. It and I like everything so they do, whether it be TikTok or YouTube. I'm like, uh, uh-uh, uh, that little demonic. Uh, you better know it. No, sure. I don't play that. Uh uh-uh. uh. Mm, 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 I just want to say I love you. I love you. I, you have so many people looking towards you, and I was one of the people like, Auntie, wake up, tell us something. What is going on? I'm alive. 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 I'm well, it was a lot of people that time to train us. I was listening to you, and I want to say thank you for everything you taught us. We teach it to our kids. We love you. Love Don't you. ever be quiet. Take up, continue to take up space, yeah. and we got you. I love you. Oh, I love you too, and thank you. It means so much. Thank you, Queen. Thank you. All right, baby. Bye. Good night. I love y'all too. Look, everybody ain't with the fuck shit. And nobody is perfect, but the shit they doing, they out of control. And we went, we went brought up like this. This don't even make no damn sure. Everybody don't went correct. Sure. Let me see what you Hey, baby. Hey, hey, Queen. Hey. How you doing, my love? I am doing good, sweetie. Gag us. What's the tea? It's so good to see you and oh. have you back in the land of living, even though you been living. Just been <laughs> underground. Look, I done came up on the surface because it's too much yeah. going on. I pop my head up, y'all. Yeah. Oh, so um Tyler Perry and um Christian Key stealing your story. Look, oh, oh, we was trying to figure his name out, Christian Key. So what that not the ignoring the sign. Baby, it's a I, little ignoring the sign. I know That's you not. Look. You know they always stealing from the queen. But guess what? Oh, One thing y'all can't kill. Things. I was just gonna say, y'all can't kill the writers. So call the queen so I can write for you niggas, cause child. Or just go ahead and give you the green light, baby. Yeah. And stop taking y'all so hate the word. Right. Yes. Tell them again. Child. Yeah, because we need Chanel. We need Romeo. We need Miss B. Oh, we need Miss B. Oh, my goodness. You know what? That's what we were just saying. We got to take ignoring the signs on the TikTok. I said, I got to go live because they keep calling me about Yes, it. baby. Because the baby, then you'll get your, then Netflix will start calling. You'll be like Risa Tisa without the slowness. Oh, I, oh, 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 oh. How you feel about Reese Tisa? She done got her BMW like, with the peanut butter like interior now. She was just too lazy, fat, and greasy. Oh, oh, oh. Not lazy, fat, and greasy. She yes. Uh, she needs to she needs to step back from the um from the plate and stop eating those damn tasty cake and Twinkie. Okay. And start, <laughs> and start letting that mind. Slow Kaya. Not Tasty Cake and, 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 and Twinkie. You know, I love baby a motherfucking jelly the factory, baby. The butterscotch I love a butter. The you know what? The butterscotch don't taste, taste the same. I don't know what the fuck they done did to the crib. No, they, yeah, I think they done changed the up the recipe a little they bit. They done changed every motherfucking thing. Yes, mm. but that's crazy. She knew gonna goddamn well she was, what she was doing, but she was so busy and wanting to be loved by a man and have a man that Ain't that much love in the world. Time. You got to love yourself first and then a nigga treating you like shit. I wish the fuck I would. I'm going to break up with you a thousand times before I let you just dog the fuck out of me. Mm. Mm. And he wasn't even no good looking nigga. He had no money. He had shit. Baby, baby, you said it, not me. Uh, I don't know where <laughs> they get these it. niggas from. Y'all bitches. You said, y'all, but what's the going on, queen? I've been staying out the way, child, because it's been too much going on. When your next trip overseas is? I ain't overseas, but I'm going to be in Riviera Beach on the 6th. 
for the okay. old school reunion in Florida. I need to be overseas. That's why I say y'all hoes need to stop taking y'all hate to work and let's come together and book. Speaking, girl, speaking of Florida, because you know I'm down here in Miami. Oh, uh, yeah, Ruby, really I bet you got to come to the show. And on the I had stage. to have my queen back. I was like, it was the thing. All of it. It's like, no, no, Kaya. I know, that's JT right. JT Money. J I love my JT. Uncle Lou. Uncle Lou. Yeah. Okay, shout Uncle out to JT Money. We can, give, we can give it to, um, we can give it to, um, Trick Daddy. The Trick Daddy, no dollar. Yeah. You, I'm in Riviera Beach on the 6th. They doing the old school reunion on the 6th and the 7th. So you in Miami, you need to drive down and come see the queen. Oh, you know, that's a, that's a given. Yes. I'm going to stop in Ocala real quick first. I know, come I, through Ocala. Oh, you know, Javon from Ocala. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. We're going to be down there. We're going to go to Peanut Island. Okay. Yeah, so that's come on out here. It's okay to see you. Um, I still need my stick, though. You want your staff? Still, that's what the fuck I've been doing. I still need my stick, baby. You need your stick. I got you. I got you. Listen, it is so Zion, my grandbaby. Oh, you know I love my boys. I got my boys. But he, he, I, the queen be out jumping out of the trucks and cars, getting staffs and wands and all kind of shit painting because that's meditation. And Zion, the same one. Grandma, I got you some staffs. I made you some swords and some staffs. I say, like, what, Zion? Come on, go We some wood collectors and cut it into all kind of art. Yeah. Yes. I got you, baby. I got you. Okay, okay. Much love, Send Queen. And then, oh, speaking of Queen, though, because you know Beyonce about to come out with this country album. Wasn't you working on Sh Sheba McIntyre? Look, you Sheba know what? That's the game. That's the game. Sheba McIntyre that's been in the work for years. Since motherfucking 2008, and now all these hoes want to do country. That's because I ain't got no label like they do. I can't just run and do it, and then they just take my ideas and be gone. Now everybody want to be cowgirl and, and like and it's be original. On and, and all it is is R and B vocals on top of a uh, country beat. That's all it because they don't even really sound country. Mm -mm. Did they you hear a version of Jolene yet? I was just gonna say they said she. Maybe she niggerized it. it. It's um, it's Jolene mixed with some bounce music. I know you fucking lying. So it ain't the original. Okay. They said she did the uh, Dolly Part and Jolene over. I say, girl, she uh, did, but she ain't doing no justice. She ain't doing no justice. Child. No justice, no peace. Mm -mm, no justice, no peace. Well, we gonna see. Did you watch um Shirley yet? I did. I liked the Shirley. I did too. I like and Regina it was King. Scandalous queen. It was. Lady. She left her husband and it went on with the other man. You saw how quick that was. She's like, okay, we through. Goodbye. I'm gonna get with this man, oh. I'm gonna get with this man right here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was like, that's scandalous in the same year, queen. I was like, give it how you live, Bahamian queen. Oh, wait a minute. So, did you like the one with the uh Kelly Rowland with the Tyler Perry? Did you like that one? Hell to the motherfucking no. Queen. That was some time delayed bullshit. The whole storyline. They, they should have had the queen. They were right. they stealing from Zane. Gives Zane her credit. Gives Zane her work. And y'all stole that, that lady stuff. Not they stole Zane's storyline, but it was they did. And written. it was so weak tied and through. It was. How you going to pop up in Dominican Republic and you find the girl who, quote unquote, he killed? That's kind of crazy. I didn't like it. So make I it make sense. Here, make and the mama supposed to be black, but she looking like Irish Spring. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Well, we the people say hated it. Okay. Yes, baby. Don't <laughs> you. Sure. Oh, baby. Thank you for calling. Of course, Queen Ashe. I love you. Ashe. Love you to too. Let those love signals Ooh, you hit see those love airwaves signals. and, uh, in the bottom. <laughs> I know that's right. Thank you, baby. I'm going to be live. <laughs> no problem. All right. Bye. Bye. -bye. Good night. You know I love y'all. Hey! Hey, boo. How are you? Oh, you know I love you. Love you, too. What's the tea? Gag All us. right. Bye, queen. Bye, baby. Oh, look. I love y'all. Bye, baby. You know you're so cute. You know I love you. I oh, my goodness. Y'all calling. Listen. We live, y'all. Gag order. Y'all already know the call line. The queen got to go live because y'all been missing the queen. Hold on. Here she go. And I've been missing y'all too. Staying out the way. Y'all been sending all kind of stuff to the dock. And y'all know I'm live on Monday nights at 8. KayaThugMrs.com. Be sure to subscribe to the Queen's Court gag on the live so you can get your gags. Do not miss the gag. Hey, baby. Hello. 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 You can hear me? Yes. Okay. I meant, I called you earlier, but I had to call back and I had to chime in on some real talk for real, for real. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about Dan Schneider, this whole Nickelodeon situation. Mm -hmm. Because first of all, did you first did you see the, the documentary? I seen a little bit of it. I didn't watch it all. Okay. 
basically the worst one who got it was the little the little white boy from josh and um drake mm -hmm. but my whole thing is after that documentary came out why are they not raiding dan schneider's house like they doing diddy and i'm not saying diddy ain't diddy -ing. you know what i'm saying i know diddy is diddy -ing, okay yes. but why are they not going after him like that and with that fake little apology he gave you th that was some foolishness that was that? some real foolishness and, mm -hmm. and truth be told truth be told the whole industry the whole world is overly sexual what is going on? i don't know if i'm saying that right oh it's, it's just sexualized everything they, they just punching like jack rabbits what is going on yes like everybody's just horny they everybody's just freaking the horny they so horny they messing with the church yes you get me you you can't like and it's sad because the animals how many of us got these big old dreams that we trying to chase you know and then thinking and then learning that you got to give yourself up in order to try to make it in life like i've been kind of down that well i've been down that road mm. you feel what i'm saying which really put me at pause but everybody wanting to take some booty from you like if you don't give up no booty or no no you know what i'm saying like you're not gonna make it mm. you feel me so i, like I, I just really hate how over sexualized everything has come like yes ain't that much sex in the world you could be retarded and know how to fuck I mean, you feel me? Now, can we talk about Uncle Luke real quick? Child, Uncle Luke said he left the parties early. You believe it? The freak, the freak nigga. <laughs> How did you like it? It it didn't give what it was supposed to give. Mm. It do you? It's another freak Nick documentary on that. It was just like an extended version of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It didn't expose. It didn't. It didn't show. It was just like a little. A little history lesson in class that everybody never paid attention to and we felt the taste because we wouldn't pay attention mm -hmm. and we still you know what i mean like it didn't and luke is a hater i, I want to say luke is a hater mm -hmm. i i'm just put that out there luke mm -hmm. is a hater and maybe that's why he's upset that the freak nick documentary ain't doing what it's doing Ooh. what it's supposed to do mm -mm. we the people say luke is a hater gaggle luke is a hater mm -hmm. but yeah that's what i call back in to um to talk about but yes. yeah this this dan schneider diddy stuff i think it's gonna be big as oj uh case too I but think we'll so. see we gonna see so you think they're gonna put charges on dan schneider say that again do you think they're gonna charge the guy they're gonna charge dan dan uh -huh. no because he white mm -mm. he white he white <laughs> so he ain't gonna get charged they ain't listen they ain't finna they ain't they ain't finna do nothing to that man wow yeah you have to know what's doing it um oh, what's the other man name um the ernestine ernestine whatever the epstein epstein mm -hmm. calipine yeah him that man right there he was doing it what they did to him not a damn thing you know what i um, do i don't think diddy gonna go down without bringing everybody with him though i do believe that scorpio is gonna tell i think he gonna blow the whistle yeah I, yeah I think he's gonna probably go to jail because he's running too but I think like somebody said earlier Kate Cassie is the one who broke out the who, who really bust the bag wide open yeah but Wendy been Wendell been saying Wendell Williams been saying this for a long time exposing it. it it's all been put out there it's just a matter of time and it actually gave me a little hope not to get too personal but it gave me a little hope for my little me too situation mm. you feel me because i i didn't come out and speak about it at the time and i waited years later to talk about it so in my situation nothing can happen until somebody else go through what i went through and then you know okay well can i just say way. what was the reason why it took you so long because i always say i want you to tell right then i want you to scream to the rooftops i need you to get it out what was your reason for just not telling until later um i think i'm a little stronger now so my ex-boyfriend set me up to get raped by three of his friends no um oh, yeah boyfriend? when i was 17 turning 18. Mm. um oh, i got pregnant by it and all kind of other stuff oh. but um i i i was humiliated i was embarrassed my stepdaddy had just died the month before me and my mom relationship wasn't the best mm -hmm. so you know i just i didn't have you know i i didn't i didn't know i didn't know how to say it what to say yes i didn't know but the what made me come out about it because i ended up getting with the guy who actually was a really good guy i'm still with him to this day okay. and our sexual relationship has been traumatized from it mm -hmm. so at one point it was like well damn if you fucking somebody else but i had to come out and tell them like no this is not what it is this right. is why it is yeah. so i didn't know it would affect my life in so many different mm -hmm. areas you know but it is what it is oh. i'm still standing i'm yes. fighting through it every that's day that's right you be strong queen 
I appreciate you so much. I, I, I really, really do. But yeah, so you know, if you got your story, put it out there. You know, whatever you want to do, go after it. Never yes. give up on yourself because nobody is that special enough to be a me too by themselves. Okay, that's right. That's right. And start that healing journey. I will. I, I I've been I've been trying to work on it. I've been trying to work on it. I'm working on it. It's a, it's a process, but I'm working on it. Yes, because it's so heavy of a load. It's like no, we can share the load, and we gotta. True. It. Yep. Oh, I'm proud of you. Thank you so much, Ty. I truly appreciate you. You don't know how much I love you, but one day you will see. Just remember this conversation I told you. One day you will see. Okay. Oh, I love you too, baby. Thank you. All right. Thank All you. Right. Bye. Bless you. Bye bye. Ah, I love y'all too. Y'all always give me so much love. Look, you're like, Queen, don't you leave us for this long. Look, I, it's a cruel world. People are so evil. Hi, gag order, gag us. Queen Kaya. Hey, girl. Hey, baby, what's the tea? Oh, my God. I missed you. I was like, uh -huh. this karma, honey. I'm calling from Cincinnati, Ohio. Come on, Cincinnati, Ohio. Yes, girl. I was like, where can you be? Me and my friend, honey, we love looking at you. I said, uh, -uh. I said, where's the queen of shade at, honey? Like, where is she at? Look, it's been so much going on. They getting on my nerve. I want to shoot up everybody. Okay, girl, and I'll help you, honey. I got the AR15. I'm trying okay. to tell you, especially with fucking with my children. It's just like, what is wrong? We are better than this. I'm dancing to the soul. People Come on, don't Lyle. know that is the next wave in the South. I'm trying to tell you. Oh, you better know it. Your body. I yes. <laughs> I'm talking about the juke joints, the hole in the walls. We love it. We oh, love it all. And that's where the soul and the spirit is at. You know, yes. it's like, I, I, that's what it has been my mood. So I've been doing the Southern Soul stuff because it's like, okay, that's the mood right now. Cause it, and I've been enjoying it too. Yeah, it's the move. I'm in Atlanta, but we love you, Kaya. Oh, I love you too. Thank you so much, Queen. Bye bye. Bye bye. Shout bye. out to Jam Von. Y'all already know. Jo join. Y'all already know. Thank you for the support. Make sure you download um, Body and Back Road. Um, that's what's up. Y'all already know. Y'all always supporting the Queen. Whether I put out put out hip hop, roasting the bitch, or if I put out some Southern Soul. So I appreciate you guys so much. Look, we 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 winding down, y'all. Hey, y'all, gag us. Hey, sis. Hey, babe. What's the tea? What's going on? Hold on. Let me turn my thing now. How are you? You know, I ain't talked to you in a minute. How you been? I've been good. I love you. I love you, too. Oh, my goodness. I'm ready to gag. Gag <laughs> us. Gag us. Let's talk about these loose knuckle ass motherfuckers in this goddamn game. Not loose knuckle. Any knuckle looking ass niggas in this goddamn industry. Let's talk about it, goddamn. And I'm calling all the way from Columbus, Ohio, by way of California. Let's talk about this bullshit and this motherfucker tonight, okay? They <laughs> Let's are out talk of control. About it. They are out of control. Yeah, they out of control. But you know what? Let me start off first by saying, let's talk about, I don't know if you've seen this shit in the news with Torrey. You remember that? 
black correspondent that used to be with BET. You remember him? Yes, well, he said he had sent one of his family members so, over to Diddy. Yeah, so Toray recently did a um, interview, and he said that he had a relative that did an internship. Yeah. He asked Diddy to do, for the relative to do an internship with Diddy, right? So Toray recently said that the relative recently told him years later as to why the internship just abruptly stopped. And he said because Diddy propositioned for him to go to bed with him that night. Ooh. And he declined it. So he ended the relationship. Like he ended the internship, excuse me. Uh-huh. Because he didn't want to give up that bussy. So it's just like, oh, go ahead. He didn't want to give up that bussy. He didn't want to give up that motherfucking bussy. Don't nobody want his goddamn bussy no motherfucking way. He'd have been fucked through, fucked out. Like egg fucking young <laughs> egg yes. drop soup in this bitch. Oh. <laughs> I mean, how thank you. Smoking like a goddamn soup kitchen. Wow. And it's the crazy thing is the crazy thing is like one of the callers were saying earlier was wild is the fact that they go use him as a sacrifice of because course. they not gonna let them climb up that ladder and get to all the real people that's doing all the bullshit. You yes. get what I'm saying? Yes. This has been repeated throughout history. Yes. You've talked about this. Other people have talked about this. And it's time for folks to wake the fuck up. Please. This has happened many multiple times before with so many people in the business. Yes. You get what I'm saying? They not go they see see they love they love to exploit us for our crap. And then when they done with your ass, bodies. they chew your ass and spit your ass the fuck out. Yes. So I've always had a great deal of respect for you and so many other people that have been in the business and a lot of other people that have come before us and that are no longer with us yes. that were trying to warn the public about the sinister things that have gone on behind the scenes yes. that are still going on. But yes. like things are definitely going to be, be exposed in this year. So for sure. Yes. <laughs> It's time. Awesome. It's a reckoning. What'd you say? I said it's time. Everything comes to the surface. It comes full circle. Yeah. And, and 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 have you not noticed the quality of all the shows? Like you got like all of these reality shows and just everything is just like tired. Shit. It's like yeah, the hype is gone. It's just like motherfuckers is doing the most now to get attention. Yeah. And you see. Have you noticed that shit? Yeah. Look, like, even the concerts, like I'm a big concert girl. I like to go to the symphony. I like theater. I like shows. They are tired. The television shows are tired. The movies are tired. It's like, what the fuck is going on? It's, it's wild. It's wild. And I am in performing arts. I went to school for theater. And I have a lot of things that I'm sitting on, like a lot of works that I've written, things of that sort. And it's just, I will tell you one thing. Hollywood is definitely weird. Mm. That's why my ass is back in Ohio. Exactly. Um, it's weird as fuck. And let me tell you, it's not for us. No. It's definitely not for us. No. And they cherry pick who they want to be in the business. And then you got to pay a price. It's blood in and blood out. Yeah. So when I was out there years ago, I recognized that. And this came across my motherfucking board. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. I'm six four. I'm attractive. I have a pretty white smile. I have blue eyes. I'm a pretty decent looking guy. Right. And the thing is, it's not even necessarily what I realize about competition. It's about what the fuck Thank you can do husband. to get to the top. Because every motherfucker in, 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 in Hollywood is a beautiful person. There are some beautiful people out there. Yeah. But the thing is, it's just like, I will look at other actors and I'll be like, how the fuck did you get that shit? Right. Oh, like, you get what I'm saying? You have to be very sure of yourself in this business and what you're trying to pursue, whether that be performing arts, whether that be music. You have to know your craft. You yes. have to know your lane. And if you want to make a lane, you got to understand that when you're going to do something different and they see you got talent, they go definitely come for your motherfucking ass. Sure. For sure. Yeah. They go definitely come for you. For sure. For sure. And I'm like, I might go hold up the line. I've, I've always wanted to speak to you. Well, I'm <laughs> glad you got through. You Thank you. Go ahead, Queen. What'd you say? No, I was saying I'm glad you got through. Yeah, I just want to give you your props and um I want to shout out to everybody that's in the chat, um, that's giving love hey, baby. and how raw they be and they just keep it a bug. And I love <laughs> you so much, Queen. I want you to keep up the good work. And yes, you, I I'm I'm always gonna be in your corner, man. Aww. I stand for truth and light and love. And yes. I love you guys. Love you too. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Love you. All, all right. right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, shout out to all the real artists and musicians and talent out there because I'm telling you, that's why people give up on their dreams because it's like they get in 
and then they see it's this bullshit, then people don't want to do it. It's like, oh, everybody not strong enough for this shit either. You know, I'm telling you, they they fucking niggas up by here, man. Look, get under the look, get under the queen gonna come from under the bed because I see <clears throat> I see the people need the queen, but god damn. It ain't safe, it ain't safe, it ain't safe, it ain't safe. Cause they've been doing too fucking much out here in these damn streets. Gag us. Hey back. Hey. Hello. All right, we live. Oh, this is Kaya. Hey, Kaya. This hey. is uh, Mark from Memphis. Come through Have Memphis. Have you been you been hearing about that shit and uh the fucking bridge falling down and shit? Yes, and you know what? Somebody sent the uh a picture in of the Simpsons predicting. The bridge falling and Diddy predicting uh, him running from the motherfucking feds. I holler. Right. Like, what the hell? And then Trump out here trying to sell Bibles, pillows, and grabbing bitches by the pussy. What the fuck is going on? Not Bibles and gold motherfucking Air Force Ones. That motherfucker's trying to sell the last damn thing. I'm voting for him to go to jail. I'm tired of his ass. I'm so fucking tired of him. He ain't got no real representation. Who gonna represent for the people? We don't want Biden. We don't want Trump. But ain't nobody else coming behind them. We don't have no right. leadership. We don't. I mean, what the fuck is gonna happen? And then the fucking insurrection showed us who the real KKK members is. We got all these oh, Karens sprouting out the ground and shit. So I'm just so tired of it. I stay in my house listen, like a turtle. Stay in your house and pop your head up like a turtle. Hell <laughs> yeah. Folks get shot for free. I ain't got that time. Ah, I know. Did you see what's going on in Haiti? Hell yeah, what the hell? Like, uh, why is America so focused on everybody else's shit but can't take care of our own damn people? We over here giving Ukraine all this money, yeah. We got bombs all over California, New York. Motherfuckers can't even afford rent no more. What is going on? I don't know what the fuck is going on. Listen, that's why I've been under the bed. These motherfuckers is going crazy. Right. They burn I'm scared to stay up under the bed, though, because these bed bugs are coming out and showing up on TV and shit. I can't. Uh-uh. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do, but we got to keep motherfuckers. Keep cover. Well, I don't want to keep you long. I just want to reach out. I'm from Memphis. Hopefully, I can catch one of your shows. I'm in Florida around my birthday, but okay. I love you so much. I love you too. Hopefully, you will. I'll see you soon. All, All right. right, baby. Bye bye. bye. Oh uh, my God, what is going on in Haiti? They say they're burning people alive. They're trying to get the Americans out of Haiti. I say, Lord. I just don't know what's going on. Gag us, Gag Nation. Look, we live. Look, I don't know what it is. What is the people of Haiti gonna do? Hold on, let me see y'all. I just don't know. Hold on. He trying to call me. <laughs> hey, baby. You gotta cut your phone down. Hello. Hey. 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 Am I live? You are. Hey, hey. Kaya. Yeah, Come through Philly. Where Meek Mills yeah, at? Yeah. Where Meek Mills at? What you say? Where Meek Mills at? I have no idea. We don't. We don't claim him no more. We don't oh, claim shit. him no more. <laughs> Philly say. I'm from Germantown. I'm from Germantown. That, that's what's Philly over here. We don't. From Germantown. Uh, <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay. They say Charleston White was going talking shit about the Gilly son. I ain't appreciate it. What's going on with that? You ain't heard about that? I don't, I, don't, I don't even know that happened. Wait, tell me again what happened. It's something going on. They sent it into the docket. Say uh, Charleston White was 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 uh, roasting and gagging and going ham, really just going too far with Gilly the Kid and was talking shit about his son. So I was just figuring you from Philly, you might have knew what was going on. But they beefing and going know. back and forth. No, I'm gonna have to look at that queen. I didn't even know that, that was happening. Oh, it done got real messy. It done got real messy. And I think Charleston went a little too far. Ooh. With his cock out of the ass, he ain't gonna be happy to somebody knock his motherfucking ice cream. It, he he took a little <laughs> But you know what? I don't really watch him like that. Like I'm not really a fan of their podcast because it's not. Oh, they're they trying to kill him, and I said, "Well, what happened?" So then they sent the video in, and him and and Gilly was going back. Well, he, you know, they was going back and forth. But you know, he said some stuff about his son that passed away. That was real oh. bad. Yeah, he and probably so, should have did that. Yeah, they ready to kill him. They ready to kill him. So I thought you might have knew. What else going on in the city? What you got going on? Gag us. Listen, what's going over here is the streets of Philly is dry. It's dry. It's dry. <laughs> we got we got nothing going on over here. You know that Baltimore Bridge thing. A lot of people are thinking that it has something to do with like a cartel. Oh, you do really? They said that they yeah, did because you made it. It happened a few years ago. Like I remember when I was in high school, the, the streets were real dry for like a couple months. 
because they caught like the not even just the middle man, but they caught like the big wig. They caught like the top of the people. Right. So we trying to figure out like, is this one of them situations? Like, if it go dry in the streets, like for the DMV in the next three months, we know why. Okay. Well, they was oh. So okay. yeah, like that bridge thing might have been more so of a you know they be trying to catch them or you know like. Look how the queen I, we don't know, but yeah, yeah, like we don't know what that's really about. But like people, like all the drug dealers in Philly, saying it's about to get dry. Oh, because the work was on the boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This happened before. This has happened before. Oh. Yeah. So like that's what I wanted to call and talk about. Yeah, the bridge falling. Me like, was it really just an accident, or was this you know a way for them to kind of cover up what, what was being sent on on that ship? Oh. That's what I want to know. Mm -hmm. Well, they said that they sent a May Day ahead of time and that they closed traffic down in both directions to, to try to, you know, keep lives of other people from getting on the bridge, from dying and everything, casualties. So uh, evidently the ship, well, they claim that the ship lost power or... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but okay, but think about this. They said the workers were already on the bridge doing whatever they're supposed to do because those are the people who are allegedly fell. Mm -hmm. So it was like if they stopped the bridge, if y'all knew that that ship was coming, y'all knew that that ship was going to hit the bridge. Why was there anybody on it at all? Mm. That's what people are not paying attention to. They, they they kept saying that the workers were already there. Like they seen it coming, like they seen it. So it was like, why was y'all still there? Why didn't they pull those people from the area just in general and try to stop well, the bull and they, they hit? They could have hurry up, you know, and save, you know, whatever was on there. Whatever is on that ship, they trying to hide. Mm. That's what I'm getting at. Whatever was on that ship, there's something on that ship that probably either wasn't supposed to be there. Mm-hmm. They said it had like two backup generators. They had like two captains on the ship. So it's like, ooh. So how the crash? How did we fall? I said too. I was like, well, what, what, what was the captain doing? In my mind, I was thinking they was high. So then I'm like, okay, well, they might not have enough time to get off the bridge. They said it was pot people, uh, workers that was fixing the bridge or the, the the concrete or the cement or the potholes or some shit. They couldn't exactly. get off the bridge exactly. in time. Mm. How are y'all trying to fix that? But the, the the whole bridge just came down. Like it seemed like that shit. Like they trying to make it seem like the bridge was weak, but mm -hmm. you know, I don't they never think told us who was on that shit. Oh, they kept saying no this car though. What was on that shit? No more. Ain't nothing. Who was ain't on no that shit? Supervisors no more. Ain't no managers. Ain't nobody checking shit like they used to. No. You know, ain't no. Yeah, supervisors. I'm glad you just brought that up. That is true. Sure shit is really changed. Is in line. You. You used to couldn't stand your supervisor or manager, but guess what? They were there to do a job and make sure shit was in line. The cooks ain't cooking like they used to. They don't give a fuck. It's just no structure or is is I don't know what the fuck is going on. That's why it's like, who's going to run the world? If everybody high and everybody got anxiety and everybody suffering from mental health, ain't nothing wrong with you. You need me to put my foot in your ass. It's like <laughs> everybody's not crazy. You can't just run to drugs every time it's a problem or you run into a situation. It's like, who's going to be the supervisors? Who's going to make sure stuff is checked? Who's going to check the bolt and screws? The planes falling out the sky. Ain't exactly. nobody you got planes out the sky. You got crash. boat crashing. You got boat you know fentanyl crash. on the drugs. They trying to get like I don't know what they trying to do to the generation, but even even people of my mom age, you know, my grandma generation, they said they ain't never seen no shit like this. Before. I'm telling like, you, they, and the whatever they trying to do to the generation, it ain't right. It ain't, ain't right, and ain't ain't, ain't nobody right. to fill these gaps. That's why I said, okay, Trump and, and Biden is old as fuck. If Trump do get another year, okay, he only got four, and so does Biden. Who's next? <laughs> Who is going to be the next leaders and mentors and, and, and doctors and lawyers and dentists and engineers if all you motherfuckers fucking and high and just don't give a That's fuck a about life? That's a good point. That is a good point. Who's you don't even, I don't world. even see them no more. You don't see kids talking about going to school to be a doctor. A lawyer, nothing. No lawyer. Nothing that actually contributes to society. Nobody. Who going to take these seats? We fuck. Foreigners. They bring in old foreign doctors, foreign uh, medical advisors. This is why shit is all fucked up. What the fuck is going on? They just let, they just passing the doctors and the dentists. They killing motherfuckers with anesthesia. Bitches ain't got no training. They leaving all kind of instruments. And bitches you go to the hospitals. They got get those foreigners in there with the fake medical Thank degrees, you, fake nurses and assistants. They killing our people. We the whole They faking tests and, and, and paying Sorry. a bitch to get transcripts. Ain't nobody really doing no clinicals or no motherfucking work. I they don't know what they doing. They don't know what the fuck they doing. I'm just done. You can pay your way through every fucking thing. Everybody no fucking on the job. I don't know what y'all niggas gonna do. That's why I've been under the bed. Look. <laughs>
We got to figure this shit out. Where the fuck we going? Because I don't know who going to run this shit. Listen, I'm watching this whole thing just getting scared. Because especially when you start talking about, you know, the, like this generation of kids that you like, I got nieces and nephews. So it's like, who's going who's going to take care of Generation Alpha? What, what is going to be their don't life? No, that's why I don't know why these bitches having babies. Like, what's gonna be their life? Like you gotta remember a lot of everybody is in alpha. I think they nobody goes in like eleven, right? Eleven or ten or something. <laughs> right. What the hell they gonna do? What the fuck they gonna do? Shit, we don't know what to do. So think about like in like ten years, like what the what is the world about to be in ten years? And, and let me tell you something. Even with the cars, I bought. Let me even my washer. Like everything is smart, but. They're not training enough technicians to fix the stuff that's broken. You got all of this stuff, but then don't nobody want to go to school to learn how to repair it. So mm, like, everybody wants to be a football player, a basketball a player. They want to be uh, online, being an like, influencer, uh, which doesn't help anybody do anything. They want to be hoes. It just want to be internet famous old, like you say, yeah, pretty much. I don't know. Everybody, they selling this something. Stuff. They selling everything except you know what's going to be conducive to society. You need That's a regular lawnmower with a carburetor and 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 to pull the string because all this smart stuff is no technicians to fix it. Nobody ain't going to be able to fire the planes, the trains. We talk about this all the time, but it's like nobody wants to be a drive no train. They barely want to drive the city bus. They killing motherfuckers at the subway. I say, child. Listen, I live in Philly. These, these fucking train drivers is trash. They kill somebody every goddamn They crash. I mean, people do be jumping, but sometimes people do be getting hit by buses. They, on, they on dispensary weed and gummies. They high. How the fuck you going to work machinery and you hide in a cooler brown? You are right. I've seen a couple. Like one, uh, I'll give you a story. One time I was at the mall and we went up to the um the mall management. I worked at the mall. We went to mall management to let them know it was a lot of shit going on. They need to talk to mall management. We went there. That man like he was hired in the kite. He was high as hell. They he was hired in the kite. I said, I'm talking to him. I'm like, you know, sir, they need you to come down. Da 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 da. He just looking at me cross eyed. I'm like, this man is high. He was high. <laughs> That man was high as hell. It <laughs> was high as hell. I said, God damn. Like, yo, I'm not talking high. So, you know, you could be high, but I'm talking high as hell where you at work, you don't even know where you at. Right. So who gonna who who gonna be sober if everybody high and depressed and got ass? Listen, you you want people walking around like zombies. Everybody's on and this is what I don't get. Everybody acting like they don't do nothing. Everybody on something. They on something. Everybody on something. You're you smoking weed, and you're drinking, they you're on... popping pills, you're taking that fentanyl, you're snorting coke, you're doing something because yeah. we're trying to escape. Yep. What we don't understand, which is the world of today. Yes. I don't oh, know, but that's why I've been on the video. But we got to come together, y'all, because this shit get gross. <laughs> oh, yeah, I just wanted to call in. I finally got into a live. We miss you, Kyle. We I miss you. Much love from Philly. Much, much respect. Love, Thanks for Philly. answering. Love y'all. Love you, baby. Thank you. All right. All right, baby. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Unknown caller. What? Look, we ain't going to make the whole call be all about what the fuck we going to do. Okay? Because some of us that's in the light, we going to be all right. But I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? You know, God damn, y'all. I'm glad y'all was live tonight. I miss y'all. I got to come live more often. Look, y'all like, don't go nowhere, queen. You got a little time. How many, how long is it? Uh, it's getting out of control. We got to do some, we got to do better. I don't know what the hell going on. Everybody divorcing and angry and doing all kind of crazy ass shit. Hey, baby. Queen. Hey. 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 So happy to see you. You oh, are the masterpiece, girl. Happy you. New Year. Happy I know it's a little bit in, but <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Before I get started, I just want to say I wish you health, 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 health. Wealth, wealth, wealth. Peace of mind. You haven't aged in 20 years, darling. Oh, thank you. And I love you. I love you, too. Okay, so I want to say... um to what you just said about basically our society turning into a, a film. I want everybody to get their pen, get your pen queen. This movie, if you haven't seen it, is called Idiocracy. Idiocracy. Uh-huh, okay. Idiocracy. And it basically the film, it tells the future, like, I don't know if it was like 2502 or 2080 or something but it was way way out mm -hmm. and basically the i don't know if it was the whole earth or the whole america everybody was dumb as fuck and people like you and me were considered einstein the only problem was it was only you and me wow okay um the president was an ex-wrestler played by terry cruz if i'm not mistaken I know again the movie it's called Idiocracy. It's on I Netflix? It was, huh? It's on Netflix? 
No, it's an old movie. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Uh huh. Uh huh. And I, yeah, it's an old movie. It was recommended by someone as a case study, kind of like they cloned Tyrone. <laughs> mm. Um. So it's a lot of you know. If you look back at The Simpsons, all of these predictions basically we watched our whole future in the past. Yes. So it's like it's you. This is not by coincidence. Mm-hmm. Like who makes a fucking cartoon and everything in the cartoon come to fruition? Prince, the nine eleven, yeah. the Pope, the the, 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 the 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 ooh wee wee. Like come on now, like this can't be. No, there's no way. No. So they could gaslight us if they want, but it's not gonna work. I also want to say to everybody out there, y'all gotta get healthy. Yes. You can't because this the. It's so stupid now that even healthcare people, a lot of them, and you can look this up, it's public information. Um, there's a lot of nurses, RNs, LVNs, all of them who got fake degrees. Yes. Um, you can look it up in Florida. It's the online. Doctors too. What'd you say, Queen? The doctors, too. The doctors, too. Them all along. of them. They Everything we'll just them say the medical field. Mm. Yes, ma'am. The medical field, um, there's a plethora of motherfuckers running loose wearing a costume every day never took a test didn't study just out there getting a check yes. and and basically practicing yes. is what a practitioner is practicing the on pro- just practicing on people and there's a lot of racism not just from others but even within our own who they just don't like themselves, they don't like us, and they can't wait to get you in a predicament where you need them, and then you can't move, you kind of like in a position where you're um, dependent on someone to care for you, and they pension you, yes. you know, or they you or whatever, yes. and people yes. think like, oh, that's terrible how they did that lady, it could be you. It could be you, it's happening, it is really happening. Yes. And please get healthy, and healthy not just physically spiritually and mentally as well yes because yes. if you're not healthy spiritually and mentally it's going to cause sickness in your body it sure will oh, it's all God. correlated it's all correlated no, it and the will. way we treat each Cancer. other yes yes and it's, it's really not a game and unfortunately um it is a mind control yes. it is um a dumbing down of society where they have been doing this and plotting this for quite some time and it's got to the point where even teachers in the educational system that are quitting yes. because they say the children is too terrible. They are. And they just and that's a damn love. shame. They don't they 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 need the, it's just a damn shame. Sis, you know you said that right. I just don't know. That's why I'd be like, what? Right. And it's like people want to give out and want to do stuff, but don't nobody want to lose their life trying to teach you how to read. Right. You know what I'm saying? Are you or you not supposed to have your phone while the teacher is talking and trying doing it all they can to teach you something, and you beat them half to death because they said turn your phone on vibrate or turn it off. Who would want to work in that type of environment, environment. for any amount of money? I know. And they ain't paying them nothing. They not. And, and guess what? There's no amount of money that would be worth your life being in danger. Right. And to teach, like we came up in a time where you respected your teachers and they respected you. Mm-hmm. Now all the teachers is getting pregnant by the boys. Oh, <laughs> they, they, they Come on. yes, just fucking the students. Yeah, every day. Every day. I'm like, what is wrong with them? Every day. You know, so I want everyone out there, you know, to know that some people you may you might be feeling like you're going crazy because you're so used to social norms and ain't nothing normal no more. You're not crazy. No. There's nothing wrong with you. No. Stay who you are. Yes. Stick to the motherfucking script. Please. And you ain't by yourself. It's only a chosen few. And it's just a mess. And I'll tell you one thing. People are, you know, some people want to say, oh, this, all that. But you could not pay me to come into the world right now. <laughs> like, and this be the reference point. At least you and I, we have, and people that can relate, have a reference point of when it was something. Yes. Now it's like, it's almost over. Like what, how, what, what worse can it get? And guess what? We haven't even seen the worst yet. Oh no, it's about to happen too. <laughs> it is. It oh is. my God, that's when I feel and like I feel a, old. Like if I'm turning to my mom, like, uh, yeah, because they out of control. It is, it is, it's coming. And it's in more ways than one. And we have a lot of new people coming into this country. And guess what? We've done things to their countries. This country has not all of us listening, but I'm just saying 
is places that we went into as the United States, and those people haven't forgot. Well, this and, and, and they, the Mexicans, this is they shit. Then y'all can't just put a gate up and say them people can't cross cross no wild. This they shit. Mm -hmm. Y'all stole it. Can I be honest with you? <sighs> yes. I really feel they sold this country. Mm. I do. And the and they just letting every, anything come through. It's like fuck it, we done sold it. Let the let the pe let the public deal with it. I don't. I, I mean, it just it, they could control. I mean, if they could pull up on Diddy like that, y'all can't pull up on the borders like that. Oh, <laughs> come on. I'm just saying, no. Them Mexicans getting together. They saying fuck these niggas. We going more of us in numbers. They come across the motherfucking gate. Yeah, I mean, they could, they have the manpower, but then again, maybe they don't because they said they're bringing in people in this country at a certain age group, so where they can go to the military. Mm -hmm. But it's people, they don't even want to sign up anymore because of, you know, the the, the reputation of that. Yeah. So if we don't have no military, we don't they, have nothing to protect us. Listen, they ain't signing we up. Know. Yep, just like we said, yep. ain't no doctors, ain't no nurses, ain't no engineers, ain't going to be no military or, or soldiers either. Mm -mm. and a whole bunch of drug addicts and, and that is also a, um, a terroristic act to have all that fentanyl running loose and now they're putting it in everything so you have to be careful like these days you can't even take a mint from somebody because it could be something else I know and it's like where are these synthetic drugs coming from when El Chapo was on the street at least you had some real cocaine now nah, it's all synthetic you don't know what you're getting at all mm -mm. you couldn't pay me to hit shit Fuck no, look. But the fucking gym. <laughs> oh my god. I swear to God, like it's too. It could be in the weed. Yeah, yeah they didn't. They didn't. They oh, didn't it's a lot of it. The kids are are having psychotic episodes from the weed. Where they getting this synthetic weed? Yes. Smoking it and they do. And also, I have another film for everybody. Get your pens. Um, check out Kingsman. 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 K i n g s. M A N. The first one was about cell phones. All the cell phones it caused they like put a frequency and everybody wanted to kill each other. They was fighting in the church. It was crazy. It's with Samuel L. Jackson, Kingsman. Mm. The second one was about marijuana. What they were doing. And it were, and the white the white woman, she was like the Martha Stewart of marijuana, and she put all this weed out in America and people were smoking on it. And then all of a sudden, they would start like dancing all crazy and shit. And then blue veins or blue little worms or something would start like going through them. Uh -huh. And then they would get, then they would get stuck, like completely stuck like a statue. And they put them in what looked like FEMA camps. It was just a bunch of I cages. I and then the white lady said, to the, and it was people like in the White House smoking it. Cause once you see the little blue shit, then it's like, oh, are you smoking that shit too? That was like the indicator. So um, she made a public announcement and told the government, like, okay, well, check this out. Yes, I produce this weed. Yes, I put it out there for the market. And if you want the antidote to get all your people on froze, this is how much money I want. Mm. So pay me, bitch. And Fuck them you. bitches was froze. Fuck you, pay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, mm -hmm. That's what's going on. That's why I'm so like, we're there. So that's too many so just because and waxes just and oil. Go ahead. I'm listening. I'm like, when the motherfucker gave y'all all this different variety of motherfucking weed? Y'all don't think they're trying to get y'all mm -hmm. stuff? So then they're like, no, nah, auntie, I, 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 I'll say, oh, I smoke reefer. The two finger in the in the in the sandwich bag, <laughs> still rolling the seeds in the album cover like this. They like, no, no, we don't want that. They want that loud and perp and crip and green and colors and straw and strings and hairs and purples and pinks and greens and lines. <laughs> and I'm like, when did the white man get y'all all this weed? And y'all think that it ain't doing something and making you stuck? They be stuck. Can we go down the rabbit hole it's a little too bit strong. deeper? Go on down the hole. <laughs> Okay, so it's not just the marijuana, it's the vaping pens. Yay! They got the children on it because it tastes so good. I never tasted it, but I smelled one, the air, and it smelled like motherfucking uh, shit. What you call Lucky Charms and shit. Like, it smells so good. I'm like, I said, I imagine what it would taste like, but it's it's worse than Newport's, and worse than Marlboro's. Yeah. Yes. I and it's know. causing um, the children, because they say in second graders, it's the first thing they hit within the first five minutes that they get out of bed and open their eyes. Literally. Second graders? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. You know that don't make no sense. 
It don't. Now check this. Not only that, there it's causing them to have mood swings and shit. So it's a neurological effect. Yeah. So some people say, I don't want to hear that shit she talks about. You know, she's like a conspiracy theorist. No, honey, it's no, no, conspiracy no, it's fact. Going on. It's going on. And you can fuck around and find up. out. Go ahead. It, it ain't no conspiracy. It's going on. Okay, now. <laughs> Because, you know, somebody going to have something to say. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying, you don't want to be the one to find out. You can go on YouTube and see how it's affected people. And you say, oh, that was her. That It could be you. Yes. And we don't want it to be you. But it's going to be so many people out of their motherfucking mind. There will not be enough landmass to hold all the prisoners, all the mentally ill, all the mentally deranged. It's, they just running loose as it is. And they let those people out of prison and out of mental asylums on purpose just to create chaos in the street yes. that's why you say well he just beat her down like that and he did all that and he got in and got out you think that's by chance right so they are they're allowing it so everybody and they really should man have woman and child we have to be on awareness yes. orange alert yes. yes yeah and they shut down a lot of the mental health facilities and the programs so where the mental health don't really have nowhere to go yeah, we're, they're 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 out roaming and taking over people's houses yeah. mm -hmm. and coming up and they were right now in um Arizona in Scottsdale, very rich part of um Arizona. The some um people, my immigrants or whatever, was coming in there robbing. Just today, I saw the article. Oh, really? On YouTube, you can look it up on YouTube. Look up Scottsdale, Arizona immigrants running up in people's houses with, and they said the lady was looking all nervous and pulling over to the side and when they asked her for ID, girl, why did she give them her visa card? They they getting visas for 90 days and staying and getting low. Whoa. Okay? <laughs> yeah. They like, yeah, we here now. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, uh -huh. I, I, somebody, uh, I think it, they was telling me about one of them, uh, the man seen one of them coming in his yard and he shot in the air and ended up killing one of the immigrants and they were saying that, you know, it ain't nothing that they they killing them. It, it, you know, uh, by any means, you got to protect your land and you got to protect your, your peace mind. of mind. You got to protect your energy. Mm -hmm. Like you got to protect everything. And I'm going to tell you another thing. Everything that's walking amongst us ain't human either. Whoa. It's a people on demon time with a legions of demons. I believe. We still got that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You still got that. You mm -hmm. can't say hi to people who got roll rays, like it's out of control. And I'm not like on no doom and gloom. There is a lot of positive. It is still a lot of good people Definitely. like you and me and a lot of your listeners. But we also have to be mindful that we are living in a crazy fucked up society. And I know a lot of societies said that, like civil rights, they probably thought that was the worst. Slavery, you know, they said, oh, God, we going through this. But then it was some people going in that time where... Maybe they didn't feel like everything was anything was wrong because it was so normal. Yeah. And that's what they're doing. They're normalizing stupidity, yeah. normalizing violence, normalizing, oh, her hair is pretty or her, her lace run is pretty. So let's just beat her head in the sink. To, and then the girl just last week died because she, she had um, bleeding of the brain and it was for nothing. And so the two that they had did a, um, it's on YouTube. The, um, they did a panel with some black teachers, women and men, and they were saying that right now we're in a society where there's so much violence on television with the youth that they're desensitized to it. Yeah. And then they think by doing what they see on this reality show or that reality show, like that, they become the reality show yes. at school. Yes. That's a big problem, baby. Yeah, because I seen the young lady, the, uh, the, the uh, saltine that she hasn't woke up yet from them beating her head into the concrete. And I said, this is they number that baddies. Yeah. And she ain't woke up yet, and they trying to charge that 15-year-old with murder. If she die, they're going to charge her with murder and charge her as an adult. Exactly. And you a girl, be pretty. Why you want to be fighting like a dog? Mm -hmm. But I don't even think she was fighting that. They say she was bullied, if it's the same person. The, the white girl was bullied? Or the uh -huh. mm -hmm. Well, I don't know if she was white or Latino or if she was mixed. All I know is she, did, she, she wasn't didn't uh, make it. She had been suspended from school like a few days before. So she wasn't even supposed oh. to be there. Either, either okay. way go, so these kids is just fighting and just, yeah. you know, and it's like, yeah. and get your fucking kids. You think if mm -hmm. my baby got suspended from school, her motherfucking ass gonna be back out there in the street? Bitch, you finna be mm -hmm. They said if you want to know, I, I, it was somebody like Kafukas or Seneca or some 
some old long back BC time, I don't know. Mm -hmm. He said, if you want to know your society, check the music they listen to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Collectively, you know what I'm saying? We grew up on a frequency of music that's totally different. Now, you and I, we can listen to different shit and filter it out. Mm -hmm. But if some people, they starting from 10 years ago, five years ago, right now, that's all they know. Yeah. Yeah, that, I'm, and I'm not knocking no artists because everybody got a right to do their art the way they want to kick it, right? But I'm just saying, like, the vibration is so low and it's so damaging and it's scientifically proven. It's not because I'm saying it, you know? Yeah. If that's not good, when you raise on that or up in the car and the mama going and you never have a time to just be still and just, it's just one low vibration after another, it after is. another. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it'll create it creates zombies it does. and so who would you have who, who will black women and black queens have to love mm -hmm. if everybody going away you know i also um if y'all can look up uh tyrone hayes you got your pen queen mm -hmm. All right, well i'm putting it on the phone because i don't know I don't oh you got a phone okay um tyrone hayes mm -hmm. he's a black scientist a chemist and uh um oh my god a professor at uc berkeley mm -hmm. He was hired. He ain't no sellout either. He's a, he's a real brother. And um, he was hired by a company called Syngenta to do a case study on a chemical called atrazine. Mm -hmm. Atrazine is what they put on the spray on the Christmas tree and what they spray on golf courses and spray on our crops and water. OK, so he went and did they paid him. He went and did the um, research on male frogs. His conclusion after he did the study was that the male frogs started getting a female vocal box, mm. started growing ovaries, mm -mm. and ultimately started having homosexual sex with other male frogs. He did a PowerPoint. It's online. Just just type in YouTube, Tyrone Hayes, gay frogs. Now, we love our LBGTQ plus community. My whole thing is, if that is your decision, that's your decision. Mm -hmm. But if it's being chemically engineered, I have a problem with that. Mm -hmm. So he put that out there. And once he put it out there, they refuted it. They hired other scientists to um, refute it, rather. And not only that, they he got it all recorded, all the emails. He was, you know, making sure he was keeping on top of her, the harassment. They harassed him, said, we go tell everybody you smoke crack. All the people at UC Berkeley, the faculty, they turned their back on him, shunned him, and threatened his wife, his children. Like it was wow. awful mm. just because they did not want him to come out and tell the truth, but he did anyway. Yeah. So if they're doing that with the food and the drink and the tree and the goddamn golf course, what other chemical are they making and what does it do to us? Right. The water, the food, the everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and, and by Bill Gates and all them buying up everything in a minute, it won't be hardly nothing less. He done fucked with the apple cider vinegar. Mm. God damn. You know, I like my apple cider vinegar. Yeah, he owns it now. Yeah, Bill Gates owns um, Bragg's apple cider vinegar. Get in vinegar. <laughs> I'm just done, child. I'm just done. I'm just done. I'm just done. Oh, well, thank you. It's another brand. It's another brand, Queen. I can't think of the name, but it's another reputable brand. They ain't tapped into that one yet. Mm. But it's just, it's a damn shame where even food is so high. Yeah. And, food and it don't like, taste the same, damn. sis. It doesn't taste the same. It's something going on. It doesn't taste the same. Mm -mm. From the cookies to the saying. chips mm -hmm. to the food to the meat. And it's creating, meat. it's creating monsters. Like it's, it's, cre it's if you don't have no nutrients. It's going bad. The fruit go bad real fast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or it lasts forever. <laughs> yeah, and it's not sweet anymore. You didn't have that apple for six months and it still looked like yesterday. Oh, you know. Uh, <laughs> How long have you? <laughs> we gonna stay for Why is so waxy? Thank you, T. <laughs> hey, T. Anyway, Queen, I know you got other people you that want to get through. Down. I love baby, you so love much, you and I'm so too. proud of you, and yeah, um, God bless everybody out there. Oh, baby, you too. Thank you, baby. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, shout out to T. Much love, T. I thank you for shooting. Oh, everything. Oh, everything. Oh, please I know you want. Hey, babe, you live. Thank you, Chase oh, Chi. Oh, no, Queen. What? You. How are you doing? I'm good. Shout out to but, Secretary of Sound. I thank you, baby. Gaga. For sure, tea, baby. Queen. It's me from Oakland. You already know. I always come through and try to catch you. Why? Oh, you got through from Oakland.
Oh man, I'm blessed. Just trying to make it in this crazy world. I know you gonna make it, baby. We gonna make sure you make it. You gonna make it. You already know, but yeah. I just have to call because we don't have to say. <laughs> Y'all just, just stay prayed up, man. We just stay up. prayed up. Yeah. For sure that because man, this is it's getting crazy out here, but we gonna make it and I got a gag, man. Gag so I know y'all was talking about that whole uh quiet on the set shit that was going on. Did again. you watch it? The whole dance you watched it? And just man, all these callers that have been calling been on fucking point yes. with everything. Even just that last caller, that last caller was saying hella shit. Yes. That was on point. If you're really paying attention and spiritually connected with yourself, yes. That last caller just read. Yes, she did. I loved it. Um, I love all of y'all. But, yeah, but that fucking bullshit with the set thing, that caller was right. Yeah. They're going to, fuck yeah, of course we're going to hear this shit about Diddy, but they're going to sweep that shit under the whole fucking rug. Yeah. We ain't going to hear nothing about Dan. They ain't raiding Dan house. We the people Hell no, and this motherfucker playing with little kids' feet and all this other shit and throwing that shit in the face and, and throwing all these clips and shit, and these motherfuckers shit. ain't going to do shit. Mm. In that order. And that's just this this whole shit just it's just like just just people love on yourself, Please. love on your kids, love on your family, and make them be one with themselves mentally, spiritually, all of it. Please. Because don't idolize any of these motherfuckers. All this shit is just a distraction for you, bro. Mm -hmm. It is. It is. So yeah. just love on yourselves, and and you already know black. People. You already know black people. And keep we keep and get our shit together. Please, please, because we don't come from this. We don't come from oh, this. and I heard that shit about earlier too with the gag. Yeah, I get about Zeus. I'm sorry, it's 2024. Who the fuck is even still watching Zeus? I'm not. Uh, I can't even oh, look at them without even feeling like that whole shit is just a disgrace to our race. Yes, and it's just anything for money. And it, it, and I'm telling you, even when I watch it, when they send the video, it makes my head hurt. And I, I feel bad saying this, but even when you look at some of the people that they get on there, like, I'm not trying to say they're hungry for money, but I mean, shit, look, look at the vibe and what it gives. Yeah, and they mental health and drug abusers and alcoholics. I ain't gonna lie, I still even remember when I first saw them. Or you know, you when get Orlando ain't lied and, about and, a damn Whatever thing. else you need. Orlando ain't lied about nothing, though. Orlando been telling this shit and they acted like he was crazy. I know, but I'm just sorry. When I saw his ass up with that Netflix nah, bitch, I'm like, that's the last person you need to be in corner. Oh, sure is. I know. I know. <laughs> yes, yes. But they pray on them. They, they want them. Nobody with no sense going over there. I know, but even then, I'm like, just, just y'all, come on. We got to, don't give these motherfuckers the, even the, the energy or yo, 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 just. Just yeah, just don't even get on motherfuckers your energy. It's like that shit. We that's us going backwards. We yeah. don't need that shit. We don't. For we don't. real. We don't. We don't. And then even I for just... the wife to put up with him, it's like women are putting up with anything. The men, it's like no, you got to stand on something. Oh yeah, damn that for sure. Like men and women, like just love your motherfucking Please, self. Don't, don't let, let these motherfuckers or like whoever that. and all this new age shit they trying to convince a motherfucker no, and all this ag agenda shit that they try to shove down your throat 24-7, change who you are and what you right. was raised on. Mm -hmm. As far as in a good way. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, for real, you gotta stand for it. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm glad you got through. For sure, queen. Um, you already know, been slapping the albums like nonstop. Okay. From beginning to end, track from track, mm -hmm. gag and skip from skip. Yeah, I know that's right. <laughs> but I just cannot wait, and I feel like I sound like the the lady on that uh on that one open the intro you did, where she's like, I cannot just wait for you to just like release new music. But no, for real, like. When you drop that new album, that motherfucker gonna be fire. Oh, no, right? It's time to everybody. And, like, and, hey. and it's sad though because it really do be showing how you really is a blueprint, whatever motherfucking print, because you really see how these motherfuckers for years you've been always on your your cowgirl shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
been talking about Sheba for in the making for years. Mm-hmm. And I still been waiting for I don't give a fuck how long I'm away. I'm still gonna wait for it. It's gonna be so good. But either way, I was still enjoying whatever else you've been dropping. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And appreciating that. But it's just crazy to see how all this shit and how they do that shit will really be like mm-hmm. just taken from the innovator. Yeah. And don't even, and you know, it's it, it, it's so many independent artists out here. It's just so sad that they want you to sell your soul, your ass, everything just to be in the industry. No. It's yeah, but even then, shit, so it's like, talented people. I don't even listen to that shit. Like I said, if any really your music or just like, and I know some, you know, some of the people that's from older music is kind of controversial, but if it's not even now, I still don't even really fuck with it. That, yeah, like that. It's, it's, but, it's not giving nothing. I still listen to the old school stuff. I don't even listen to none of the new stuff. It's so sad. Because that shit is filled with all kinds of bullshit, agenda shit. And and it's crazy, too, because it's filled with the predictive programming shit, too. Like how, like, uh, that, that caller was saying, and y'all was talking about the bridge and the yeah. symptoms and shit. All that shit is is just predictive programming. I'm telling you. They, how, how is it that all of it, uh, every, the, the, the symptoms predicted every damn thing? That's some old demonic ass shit that I don't Thank even you, really want to get on here and even bring to your channel. But that's why I say spiritually and just mentally, like y'all see the days is in, and you just just be right with God and, and how your family right with God. Because yeah. on some real shit, stop following these 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 false ass prophets, idols, and all that shit because they're just trying to lead you astray, bro. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's not real, as you see. These people aren't happy at all. Like on the real, yeah. but that's why I got much love and respect for you. Um, and yeah, Queen, I can't wait for that new album, man. I just, I just know it's gonna be fire. It's gonna be fire. I know, and I'm gonna be live so I can see and talk and make sure I check in with you guys. Oh, for sure. That I ain't gonna lie, I was scared I was gonna catch up and call this bitch like in my life. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, I'm gonna through. get through. You got through. You got through. Oh, but I got through. But um, yeah, stay blessed. And you already know, I, I, as I always say, it's always a blessing when and a gift whenever you always pick up. Oh, thank you, baby. Thank you. All right, stay blessed. Okay. You know, I let them skip. So I'm finna run them skits after the call. Run them I'm skits. That's why I gotta be live so I can at least make y'all laugh because laughing is the medicine too. And I know everybody see me gagging and roasting and all of that. You know, I don't give a fuck about these people. I don't know these people. Of course, I'm yeah, gonna no, make I know it you entertainment don't. and make it funny. And I love to laugh. I gag at all of the, the gag orders, everything that y'all send into the docket. I enjoy talking to you guys. It's all about peace and love and laughter. I'm telling you because it's healing in the laughter. So that's why I yes. say, you know, if people be like, oh, she hate and she did, she that. No, it might sound like I'm hating and I am a little rough around the edges and I'm going to cuss your motherfucking ass out and tell you how it is. But it's <laughs> truth sprinkled with a little humor and we need that. You got to live. Mm-hmm. Because all this shit now is sugar coated uh, anyway. These motherfuckers off the chain and I'm not going to baby your ass. It's just as simple as that. So thank you for the support. Oh, yeah, I can't wait. Oh, Queen. Okay, I remember one time before you was holding auditions mm-hmm. for uh, your web series, 99 Problems. Yes. And then, as well, you before once talked about auditions for Ignore the Signs. Whenever you do that, Ignore the Signs, I just, I don't know. I know. I'm going to make it some way to get the fuck out there. I know. But I got to apply. For some of them roles. You got to apply. That's to get over like, I got to get Because I'm going to cut the fuck up on that camera. I know, right? And it's like I have so many ideas, but it's just me. You know, so and just being creative. I love to write. I like to do tell stories and write stories. And then it's like you need your team. You need your production. You need everything. Your set and this and that. All right, you know. It's just getting it together. But thank you. I really just love the fact that you appreciate the art and that you. Oh, no. Hey, I'm always here. Like I said, I appreciate it. When it comes to an entrepreneur, a, a real ass entrepreneur too, okay. oh, I fucks with it. We got to do it because that shit need to be brought to life because it's happening. Even with Ignoring the Signs, I wrote the book in 2008. Here it is, 2024. And people are just really ready for it if you want to be honest. That motherfucker is a gold mine. So right there. it's like, yeah, it's time. It's time to do a lot of things. So let's do it, y'all. Queen, you the best, and I really appreciate you for taking the time to speak to me. It's really so much more shit I really even want to gag about, but you know, you're a busy uh, lady. I'm okay. And I already right. appreciate your time. Um, plus, I know it's other people trying to get through, so I don't want to get gagged. Okay. Uh, 
<laughs> but, time to go but we much move on love and then. just be blessed and i appreciate you yep. talk to you the next Thank time you, all right baby. yep good night baby bye, bye. oh i love y'all look i'm like I you always go so hard i miss you guys too i enjoyed you guys tonight y'all ain't ready to go look we four hours in so i'm about to be going um i'm gonna try to come live i probably will do it during the daytime um and get some time in with y'all but let me take one more Look, we one day we went about six or seven hours. Like, hey, baby, hey, Kaya, gag, gag us, gag us. Is we live? Is we live. Yes, bitch. I just wanted to call you, bitch. I want to know I love you down, bitch. The way you be gagging these hoes, the way these bitches keeping it going and doing your shit. That sauce, Miss Sauce, bitch. She good pussy, bitch. Sauce, yes. <laughs> Just to tell you doing your shit, keep gagging these hoes, bitch. Cause how you going live, bitch. I want you to drop another book, bitch, movies, bitch, everything, talk shows, bitch. It, keep doing your me. shit. I love you, Kaya. I love you too. Oh, All I right, y'all. Bye, bye, baby. Thank you. Bye. I love y'all. Y'all know I love y'all. Y'all be loving on the queen. I'm gonna make sure I go live. I got so many messages about going live. I think we kind of covered everything here. Um, this evening, but I probably go live during the day or catch you guys again this weekend. Um, be sure to subscribe for Gag Order Live. It's at kayathugmrs.com. I appreciate everybody that's been supporting the queen. I know y'all be needing to hear a good word. So I make sure that I check in a little more often with you guys. Stay tuned. Um, Cause like I said, I think I'm gonna probably go live during the daytime. I got some events, come, you know, I'm on the road on the weekends, but um, I'm gonna try to catch out. uh Go live so I can catch y'all during the daytime so we can catch up on some gags, on some stories. Y'all know all these motherfuckers is on the docket on uh, uh, Monday night at 8, so be sure to tune in to that. I thank everybody that's been supporting the queen. Much love, Gag Nation. I'll see you guys soon. That's what's up. Peace.